habang nakatigil ang mundo. Habang ligtas tayo sa ating mga tahanan. May mga pumiling manatili sa harap ng tigmaan. Laban sa COVID-19. Para sa inyong patuloy na nagpapatakbo sa makina ng bansa. Para sa inyong laging nakabang sa ating mga daungan at palibaran. Para sa inyong nagtatawin ang aming mga pangailangan sa kalsada, at karagatan, at timpapawin. Para sa inyong mga nagbabantay sa mga warehouse at terminal. Para sa inyong mga naikipagsapalaran sa daan. Para sa inyong naghahatid sa amin ng malasakit at kabayawian. Kayong mga frontliners sa logistics at supply chain, kakipat kayo ng mga tuto, nars, sundalo at pulis. Patip namin ang mga sacrificial nyo at pagtitiis. Kasama ang buong sambayanan, kaming lahat ay nagbibigay tugan at usuk-usuk na papasalatan. Sa pagharap ninyo, sa tiyak na pahamak para sa bayan. Mabuhay kayo. Mga bayani ng bayan. Si Kaping Lumago, inspirasyon mong pagkapi ko Katuwang ng gobyerno sa iyong tagumpay Iisang nating hangarin Huwag may apilidad at oportunidad Tiyak na ang lahat ay uunlad Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Kaibigan, trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Sulo, Pilipinas Go, 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 kababayan Sa pagsisikap Asenso ay sigurado Sa hinaharap Manalig lang palagi sa sarili Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Wala, si wala Kulang ng go mga kaibigan Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Go, 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 kababayan Kaya natin yan Kaya natin yan
habang nakatigil ang mundo. Habang ligtas tayo sa ating mga tahanan. May mga pumiling manatili sa harap ng tigmaan. Laban sa COVID-19. Para sa inyong patuloy na nagpapatakbo sa makina ng bansa. Para sa inyong laging nakabang sa ating mga daungan at palibaran. Para sa inyong nagtatawin ang aming mga pangailangan sa kalsada, karagatan, at himpapawin. Para sa inyong mga nagbabantay sa mga warehouse at terminal. Para sa inyong mga naikipagsapalaran sa daan. Para sa inyong naghahatid sa amin ng malasakit at kabayo. Kayong mga frontliners sa logistics at supply chain, kakipat kayo ng mga tukto, NARS, sundalo at pulis. Patip namin ang mga sacrificial nyo at pagtitiis. Kasama ang buong sambayanan, kami lahat ay nagbibigay tugay at puso-puso papasalaman. Sa pagharap ninyo, Tiyak na pahamak para sa bayan. Mabuhay kayo. Mga bayani ng bayan. Kaping lumago, inspirasyon mo pagkapi ko Katuwang ng gobyerno sa iyong tagumpay Iisa ang ating hangarin Huwag may abilidad at oportunidad Tiyak na ang lahat ay uunlad Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Kaibigan, trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Sulo, Pilipinas Go, 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 kababayan Sa pagsisikap Asenso ay sigurado Sa hinaharap Manalig lang palagi sa sarili Trabaho, negosyo At kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Walang iwalan Kulang ng go mga kaibigan Trabaho, negosyo At kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Go, 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 kababayan Kaya natin yan Kaya natin yan
Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Carlo Rivera, representative ng TAMS International Business School. TAMS, together with PTTC, are the learning partners of DTI in this project. On behalf of the organizers, I'd like to welcome all of you to Control Plus Biz Reboot Now with Part 2 of Meet Your Enablers. Itong Control Plus Biz Reboot Now ay bahagi ng mga proyekto ng DTI na tutulong sa transformation ng mga micro, small, and medium enterprises sa pagnenegosyo na gamit ng e-commerce technologies. Ang programang ito ay may kasamang assistance tulad ng access sa e-commerce platforms at enablers, loans, discounts galing sa delivery platforms, at libreng training at webinars. In the spirit of Bayanihan, our enabling partners across the entire e-commerce ecosystem will provide their expertise and experiences on how to take advantage of the digital space. For our first talk for this afternoon, we have Jack Lim, country head for none other than Grab Express. Jack, you're up. Hello, Carlo. Thanks for that. Um, Thank you. Okay. Now I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, I guess most of you kailalan yun naman po yung Grab, right? It we want to be, we are slowly becoming Southeast Asia's super app. Um, yung mga services na nakikita nyo are some of them are available in the Philippines. Actually, all of them are available in the Philippines. Grab car, Grab taxi, Grab share. Jan kami nagsimula sa transportation. We have launched Grab Trike for some areas like Binalonan, Legaspi. We have Grab Food, Grab Express, Grab Assistant, which we now call as Grab Express Pabili, and Grab Rewards para kumikita po kayo ng rewards points sa kada paggamit yun na. Um, let me show a quick video po of the future of Grab um, and where we want to take this super app to enable different businesses and your everyday lives. Soon, you'll be able to wake up, get ready, and leave your wallet at home. With just your Grab app, you'll have the option to choose rides based on comfort, speed, or budget preferences. The app will automatically mix and match transport options like this. If you're taking an on-demand shuttle bus, public transit, and a car, you'll be able to use your app to book and pay seamlessly for the entire journey. Throughout your day, you'll receive personalized, location-specific rewards like this one. Redeem your breakfast and send the order to the merchant instantly. Then pick it up on your way. Skip the queues and waiting time. Your driver has just arrived. While in transit, you pay your bills directly through the app using GrabPay. And your driver uses his mobile wallet to transfer his daughter's allowance. Before you know it, you've arrived exactly on time. Your driver completes his trip, he's reached his savings goal. He creates a new goal, and his schedule is automatically updated. It's time for lunch. The roads look a little congested today, so you save time by ordering grab food instead. In just a few taps, your craving is satisfied. You use the time you've saved to buy a dress for this weekend's party. Meanwhile, 
your driver visits the Grab Driver Center, where a Grab rep greets him by name. He looks over Grab's new earning programs and insurance options. Based on his good credit rating score, he's also offered microfinancing. They're all designed to help him reach his savings and life goals faster. After work, you bump into each other at the retail store. He's shopping for clothes and shoes for his daughter and uses Grab Express to get his packages delivered home. You say your goodbyes. And your driver unplugs his fully charged electric car. This future is in the Grab app you hold in your hands right now. It touches every part of your daily life and every segment of society to bring about a better, greener, and more sustainable future for everyone. Welcome to the future of Grab. Pero today, ang pag-uusapan natin is Grab Express. I know na before mangyari itong ECQ, um, a lot of you might not have used Grab Express. So ano nga ba ang Grab Express? Um, Grab Express is a same-day delivery solution that allows users and riders para mag-match at may deliver yung mga kailangan nila. This is becoming more important right now during COVID dahil sa maraming tao na dating merong mga storefront, ngayon lahat umaasa sa online. So this is especially helpful para sa mga tao na ang online businesses is perishable, right? So bakit so ano ba yung value proposition namin sa Grab Express? So safety is one of our top priorities. Um I think aside dun sa mga nakalagay dito na may insurance yung parcel niyo up to 10,000, one of the highest actually for the on-demand delivery market. And at the same time, meron kami intensive training sa drivers. Actually during COVID, kinailangan din naming mag-adjust. Um nagkaroon kami ng social distancing practices with the drivers, meron din tayong contactless delivery. Pag nag-book kayo ng Grab Express right now, sasabihan kayo na, please stay two meters away from your rider, drop it off somewhere para kukunin nila. Uh, nag-distribute din kami ng mga mask, uh, nag-temperature checks din yung mga drivers namin every day para make sure na safe sila at safe kayo. Yung deliveries nyo, like any other Grab service, is monitor nyo siya sa Grab app. Um, And makikita ninyo yung mga kung nasan yung riders at kung ano yung mga, kung pwede nyo siyang makausap para sa mga different services. And I guess yung pinaka-benefit ng Grab Express kagaya ng mga ibang on-demand delivery services, is that within an hour, within two hours, makukuha ng recipient yung, or ng buyer nyo yung parcel nila. Um, ito, quickly lang, iba't ibang mga products namin. I think most of you are most familiar with Grab Express Instant, but gusto ko rin i-highlight na nililaunch natin ang Grab Express pabili para dun sa mga tao na gusto nyo sana ng COD option, pero, and hindi naman ganun kamahalan yung items. Within 2,000, pwede pong mag-book yung mga buyer nyo ng Grab Express pabili, pumunta sa tindahan nyo, sa bahay nyo, sa apartment, kung saan man po binibenta yung mga goods na nakikita online bibili ng driver, dadalhin nila sa pasahero, sa pasahero tuloy, sa buyer, at makukuha yung item nyo within the, those two hours. And recently, bago nangyari itong lahat, meron kaming partnership with Ninja Van na actually pwede kayong mag-nationwide delivery with Ninja Van sa loob ng app nyo. So, that, actually, during this entire ECQ, I'm very proud to say that the Grab Express team was able to launch four new cities. So dati, Manila at Cebu lang po tayo. Ngayon, meron na rin po tayong presence ng Grab Express on-demand delivery sa Bacolod, Pampanga, Iloilo at Dapao. So, mahirap talaga. Like, mahirap sa mga negosyo. Marami kaming naririnig ng mga stories mula sa mga social sellers namin. Kunwari, merong magbubukas sana ng tindahan ng milk tea. Pero, wala eh. Nag-COVID. So, wala din siyang magagawa. O kaya meron tayong mga tao na um, nagtatrabaho sa malalaking kumpanya pero right now hindi din kailangan nila ng other ways para kumita kasi mga sama nila sa bahay walang pinagkakakitaan so 
nagbebenta sila ng gulay galing sa palengke at dinedeliver nila using Grab Express. Meron din tayong mga other businesses na dati physical store sila. Ngayon, nagbuka sila ng Facebook, ng hotline para makapag-deliver. So, actually, kailangan ng mga negosyo mag-adopt sa bagong normal. And kami sa Grab Express, gusto namin kayong tulungan. Um, I think bago nangyari lahat ng to, tama din naman yung mga research na sinabi namin. pag usap kami sa marami sa aming mga users. At na-realize namin na Grab Express should stop being a premium delivery service. It should start to enable and support small, micro, and medium enterprises. So, ito yung mga bagay na ginawa namin very quickly bago nangyari lahat ng to. So, nag-price drop kami. Ironically, lahat ng tao parang, bakit kayo nagpa-price cut on December? Right? So, we did the price cut. Kasi kung hindi, sobrang mahal ng December. Nagsa-surge kami. Pero now, it became as low as 59 pesos. We launched Grab Express pabili, not just in Manila. Pati yung mga bagong cities na nilaunch namin, nag-launch kami ng Grab Express pabili. And we're partners with the different Like different businesses, like kunwari, um, sa Cebu, pwede kang mag- mabili sa SMC side. Or sa Bacolod, partner namin ang Department of Agriculture, pwede kang magpabili sa Palengke. And lastly, we've launched Madiscarting Boss Club, which is, I will, which is the focus of my talk today. Um, bago yan, meron tayong video na I'm sure makaka-relate yung mga online sellers natin. Oh. <laughs> Hi sis, can I order a phone case and have it delivered now? <laughs> okay. Huh? Ito kuya. <laughs> As an online seller, Grab Express makes me part of the Mad Discarding Boss Club. Mula na nag-member ako. Huh? Ang feeling ko, CEO ako. Thank you, kuya! Ang business ko, walang pahinga kahit nasa bahay man or nasa salon pa. Plus, my deliveries get me rebates and exclusive rewards on the Grab app. Oh, oh God! At nagbibigay rin sila ng business solutions to help me. Here you go, kuya! Discardihan mo na! So sign up na for the Mad Discarded Boss Club with Grab Express! Kuya! So, yeah. so that's the Madis Karting Boss Club. Um, as mentioned in the video, meron tayong weekly rebates, meron tayong promos na exclusive para sa mga members natin, at meron tayong access sa mga iba't ibang bagay. So, kunwari, uh, yung loans, mga other benefits na meron ng club. So, dadaanan ko siya isa-isa. No? So, yung rebate scheme namin, nung nagsimula kami sa totoo lang, nasa mga up to 100, 200 pesos. But, but as we spoke to our sellers, and as we saw na mas na-incentivize sila mag-book ng mas madami, yung rebates namin every week, umaabot ng 500. More deliveries, more rebates. May mga exclusive products, may mga rewards tayo. Um, puhunan loans, which is like access to financial capital, pagkakailangan nyo mag-finance ng purchase orders. May ad space, may learning opportunity. So, isa-isahin natin. So first, yung weekly rebates. Pag binuksan nyo po yung app nyo as a Madiscarting Boss Club member, um, meron kayong makikitang challenges or Madiscar- Grab Express Madiscarting Boss Club Challenge. Makikita nyo dito yung complete 5 rides plus 30 pesos, complete 10 rides plus 70 pesos, and yung mga kinikita nyo, makikuha nyo po siya sa rewards, tapos magagamit nyo po siya na pang book uli ng Grab Express deliveries nyo, or kunwari, ginagamit niyo yung Grab Pay wallet niyo para magbayad ng bills, pwede niyo rin po siyang gamitin. Yung susunod po, meron po tayong exclusive products, right? Um, dito, parang may iba't ibang klaseng products. So, Grab Express Instant Business, is yan yung mga driver na siguradong may bag. So, yung mga nagbibenta ng cake, mga nagbibenta ng mga items na fragile. Siyempre, gusto niyo may bag yung riders, di ba? E, iba-iba po yung size ng bag namin. etong mga bags na to, ito yung malalaking insulated bags. Next is we're actually doing a beta of Grab Express car only for sellers. Um, and aside from that, marami pang ibang mga produkto na pwede nyong gamitin. Um, I think most of you are not familiar, but we do have a web booking platform. Uh, sa web booking platform po, pwede po kayong mag-bulk book ng orders. So yung iba ginagawa nila, sistema, magka-cut off sila ng alas 4, alas 5 ng hapon, kukunin nila, lalagay nila sa Excel, i-upload nila bukas ng alas 9 para papasok na lang po yung mga riders. Minsan, 20 riders sabay-sabay na darating. Mas efficient sa proseso. 
So it works better for your process. Now, if may sarili po kayong website, marami na po kayong traffic, retailer kayo or big brand owner kayo, willing din naman po kaming mag-API integrate para dere-derecho, hindi nyo na po kailangan mag-book. So yun po yung mga iba't ibang produkto na pwede sa mga madiscarding boss club member or sa mga corporate partners namin. And lastly, I think, ang daming nagtatanong sa amin, paano yung COD? Um, hindi namin siya tinuloy ngayong COVID, pero yung COD po, ang unang-una po makakakuha ng COD na mariremit po sa bank account ninyo ay ang aming mga online sellers. Um, so yun, yun po yung mga iba't ibang produkto at marami pa pong darating sa susunod. Um, rewards and promos, I think promo codes, right? Nung, I think favorite to ng lahat ng seller namin, nag-flat fee kami na 88 pesos nung March. Um, nung April, inisip namin, kaya ba? Dapat ba natin ituloy? Tinuloy namin siya, pero kailangan cashless. Kasi sinusuportahan din namin na ayaw namin na mag-exchange ng pera. Kasi syempre, safety din naman po yun para sa COVID, di ba? Um, learning opportunities. Actually, ito yung isa mga unang seminars namin sa Green Hills bago po nangyari itong lahat ng to. Um, na inintroduce ko po yung mga products na pinapakita ko sa inyo. Tapos sa susunod po, mag invite po tayo ng mga sellers para mag-share ng experiences nila. Tingnan nyo, nakangiti po sila. Um, nagkaroon po kami ng mga pag-games, mga sharing session kung paano nila pinalago yung mga negosyo nila. And eventually, we're gonna start inviting speakers from the industry to be able to help these online sellers that are starting out pa lang po. Um, ad space. Actually, ano to, pag tinag nyo po kami at hinashtag madiscarting boss club nyo po, mapipick up namin sa social and ipopromote din po namin kayo. Right? Para po to sa mga members. And kung nakita nyo po sa gilid, di ba, yung grab app, meron po siyang meron po siyang mga produkto na binibenta. Um, yan po yung ilan sa mga bagay na ine-explore namin. At Recently, nag-launch po kami ng Grab Express Finds kung saan nandun po lahat ng uh, mga mem- members namin na nagbebenta ng essential items, mga pagkain, supplies, at iba pa. Lastly, I think is uh, access to capital. Um, Nakapag-usap kami sa mga sellers, sabi nila, minsan naging problema mo is to set up your home office. Minsan, ang nagiging problema mo is December na gusto mo makabenta ng marami pero kulang yung dala mong, yung ready mong puhunan. So, Grab Financial Solutions po allows SME loans that we are offering sa aming mga online sellers. So, mabilis lang siya through the Grab app, makakatanggap ng email, hassle fee, wala pong collateral. Um, yan po yung ilan sa mga bagay na ino-offer namin sa mga miyembro ng Madiscarting Boss Club. So, paano nga po ba maging member? Um, magsa-sign up lang po kayo sa link na to, that's grb.to slash madiscarting boss club. Yung team po namin, titingnan po nila kung online seller talaga kayo. Siyempre, kailangan po totoong online seller kayo. And makakatanggap kayo ng text o text message or email mula na member na kayo ng madiscarting boss club. Doon po magsisimula, makakatanggap na po kayo ng mga regular updates, makakatanggap na po kayo ng mga regular promos, ma-offeran po kayo ng mga bagong produkto at ng mga loans. Um, actually, yun na po yung end ng talk ko. Maraming salamat. And sana po uh, yung club namin magamit nyo para ma-restart, ma-reboot yung negosyo nyo dahil alam ko lahat tayo kailangan mag-adopt sa COVID-19. Um, at sana makatulong kami sa Grab Express. Maraming salamat po. Um, meron po ba tayong mga katanungan? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm seeing a few questions in the Q&A section. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, this is from Annalisa Milian. We own the fleet of tricycles with Toda, which during this ECQ, our drivers have no income, and this might continue even during GCQ. Can we register them at GrabTrek so they can service nearby passengers? Uh, will this violate the AITF rule? Yun po. So... Unfortunately, sumusunod din po kami sa IATF. Um, hanggat po hindi nila sabihin na pwedeng yung mga tricycle ay pwede na pong mag-ferry ng pasahero, hindi po namin sila pwedeng i-onboard sa Grab. Um, pwede po kayong mag-reach out sa amin. I think my team is replying sa questions para po 
malaman niyo po kung paano mag-partner in the future. Pero ang isa po namin, pwede naman pong i-open kung willing po kayo, naghahanap pa rin po kami ng riders. Kasi malaki po yung demand. Dumadami po yung mga tao na... Um, marami po yung mga tao na kailangan pa rin ng delivery solution. So, pwede po kayong mag-register sa register.grab.com slash ph. Um, Ile-reply rin po namin siya sa link. Lovely. All right. Our next question is from Jan Mark Gelles from Cebu. Do we have access which parts in Cebu, like nearby towns, like the Consolation area, where can we check areas na merong Grab Express? Okay, so medyo challenging po tayo ngayon sa Cebu, being very honest po, dahil kailangan pa po namin hatiin yung service area um, because of the guidelines na Cebu, within Cebu lang po, um, Mandawe, within Mandawe, Lapu-Lapu, within Lapu-Lapu. Currently, the service area po is, um, is nahaha, part lang po ng konsolasyon yung nakukuha natin hanggang po Talisay. So, Mandawe, Cebu, Talisay is fully covered plus lapu-lapu. Um, and then super small parts lang po pa lang ng konsolasyon. Uh, inaayos pa po namin para rin po masunod po yung guidelines na bawal po tayong tumatawid between borders ng cities. All right. Uh, Carlo, we have a question here from Asek Jin of DTI. Uh, I, I, hi, Jack. Hi, uh, Asek Jin. Hello again. I cannot ano kasi this, this question from Patricia. Eh, baka matabunan siya. So ako na. So I'm invoking my sing it. Are you now <laughs> opening the grab pet? <laughs> I have many pets. <laughs> uh, grab pa pet. Po, hindi pa po Ay, Oo, antayin po natin ng after ng anong guidelines ng IATF. Pag pwede na po tao, baka eventually pwede na rin pong good pet. <laughs> ano muna yung grab pet? Yung grab pet po kasi is pwede nyo pong isabay yung uh, pet nyo pag sumakay po kayo ng grab car. Ah, oh, sige. Thank you ha. Thank you. Nakasingit ako, Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Asik Jean. Uh, no problem. I'm concerned for my pets too. <laughs> yeah, uh, but let's also get let's also ask questions from the Facebook. I know we have also a lot. No, we have. We have, I know we have piled up some questions from Zoom. But uh, I did send some questions over to Carlo for from Facebook. We I can have them right this. here. So, okay, thank you. Uh, let's start with this question from Faith Tubilia. If we're a seller in an e-commerce platform, billings of the delivery cost is through the e-commerce platform or direct to the seller now. Um, depends po which e-commerce platform, no? So we are part. We are actually partners with Shopee already. So the billing will go through Shopee for Shopee. Um, we, um, unfortunately, we're not yet available on Lazada. Fingers crossed, soon we will be. Uh, but yun po. Normally, we coordinate with the e-commerce platform. Um, dahil dun po kami nakikipag-usap in terms of rates, in terms of SLAs, um, just like other careers po. All right. Question from Rachel May Rosal. Is there a chance for Grab to operate here in Gensan and nearby provinces? Wala naman pong imposible. It's just that uh, sana po maintindihan yung hindi po ganun kadali na magbukas ng bagong cities with the current situation. Nakaskeletal din po kami. At hindi po kami makalipad dun sa mga cities na kailangan puntahan. But it's all these cities are in consideration. It's just a matter of when kami makakarating sa mga cities. All right. We have time for a couple of more questions. Uh, let's try this one. Um, let me see. How is GrabMart going? This is from Angel Gonzaga. How is GrabMart going? Is it still working? Uh, what's the coverage? Um, GrabMart po kasi has recently launched, right? So for those of you who don't know, Grab has launched Grab Mart, which is a partnership with different retailers, grocery stores. Um, as to what the coverage is, depende po siya sa merchant. So we have a couple of merchants. Um, for example, um, we have one in Quezon City. We have one in Pasig. Um, tapos depende po, from the merchant, meron lang po tayong radius. So it's within Metro Manila. As we open more merchants, mas makikita nyo po siya sa app nyo. Pag di nyo po siya nakikita, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan natin mag-convince ng merchant na magbukas sa area nyo. So kung meron po kayong kakilala, pwede nyo rin pong i-endorse sa amin. 
para po dumami pa po yung mga merchants na makakapag-cater sa mga basic necessities. Thank you very much, Jack. And I think that's all the time we have for now. So thank you, uh, thank you too. So, so for... Uh, so for those of you who ask uh, more questions, and we have quite a lot, we will consolidate all questions from Zoom and Facebook, and we'll get right back to you. But now it's time for our next speaker, uh, who is, uh, let's see, our next speaker is from Shopee. Uh, Akshay Vajpayee, Head of Marketplace. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Akshay, you're up. Um. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. I uh, appreciate all of you for introducing me. Um, and uh, first of all, very warm welcome to everyone uh, uh, from DTI, from, from the entire initiative, and of course, all our attendees. Uh, really appreciate you guys taking out time uh, uh, in, in such situations like right now, which is, as, as we were discussing yesterday as well, our, uh, our VUCA. Um, it, it, it is important that we have these discussions. It's important that we get into these conversations. Um, and, and, and discuss uh, uh, what is the way out for, uh, not just, just for our economy, but also for SME, MSMEs. Um, inherently, we believe at Shopee that MSMEs are core to our business, core to uh, our economy, core to entire Philippines. Um, honestly, Shopee exists because MSMEs exist. Um, and hence, it's important uh, for us to work very closely together, um, uh, especially around these, these uh, turbulent situations. Uh, so I'll, 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 I'll share my screen and then uh, let me walk through uh, uh, a quick introduction around Shopee. Uh, do flag me, guys, if you can't see it properly. Uh, just a second. There you go. Okay. So starting with what is Shopee? Um, uh, I think all of you guys have probably heard about Shopee. You guys have probably are also using it. Some of you guys are already sellers. I'm sure most of you guys are already are buyers. Uh, so Shopee is currently the leading online shopping platform in Southeast Asia and Taiwan. Uh, we have around 30 million, actually more than 30 million mobile application uh, downloads in Philippines alone. And if you look at that scale uh, of a population, that's almost every third person has downloaded Shopee on his, on his or her phone. Um, we have around half a million active uh, sellers on our platform. Uh, we always talk about uh, how Philippines economy is, 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 is tied to our uh, Sari Sari stores, our traditional stores. Uh, there are around 1.2 million Sari Sari stores in Philippines. So if you compare that number that we have half a million active sellers on our um, app every day, uh, that just shows you the scale of it. Um, and Shopee has around 95% of its order coming from mobile, uh, which is, which is uh, evident of the fact that how Filipino economy, how the population is uh, very mobile first and it's very mobile friendly. Uh, and if, if, you, if you think of the key advantages that Shopee has and has been working on uh, uh, offering to both our sellers as well as our uh, buyers. The first one and the most critical one I feel at times it's mobile first. There was a deliberate decision uh, taken by our leadership to go mobile first, bypassing the entire web. Uh, and that's very evident uh, if you look at uh, not just Philippines, but Southeast Asia, where people are, are, are shifting or are jumping the, the desktop generation straight to the mobile generation. Uh, Secondly, social interaction is very key to Shopee. And you can see it, right? In, if you look at our app, if you don't have yet, um, uh, please download and you can see it, that in our app, there's a chat function, which is uh, focused on very fluid messaging between buyers and sellers. So we want to bridge that online offline gap. So even though you're online, you're still communicating to the seller as if you're almost with the seller. Uh, and also other entertainment stuff. So we launched our Shopee Live where sellers can do a live stream um, and, and talk about their products. And of course, there's Shopee feed, uh, where you, a seller can post about their products, uh, uh, show, share images, share details, um, and can get uh, comments and likes for it. 
Um, thirdly, buyer and seller experience. I was talking about this yesterday as well. Buyer and seller experience is core to Shopee's principles. It's very important for us to make uh, the entire experience very easy to use, engaging and fun at the same time. Um, and as we as we built our product, as we built our campaigns and features, um, we, we care a lot about localization of content. We want to make it uh, custom made, curated for uh, for every every single Filipino, uh, and 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 that that flows through the blood of our organization. We want to make sure uh, uh, that it's the best experience um, uh, Filipinos can get. And finally, right, of very important, the integrated logistics and payments, uh, which is core to our e-commerce uh, operations. So we make sure that uh, uh, buyers and sellers both are feeling very comfortable with using Shopee, and hence we have Shopee Pay Guarantee, uh, which allows uh, people to be much more comfortable and risk-free with their transaction. Um, and then we have three PLs, which are, uh, uh, which are integrated with the platform that make sure that every single Filipino uh, can access uh, uh, great products at, 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 at very fast pace. Uh, by the way, one, let me point out one thing. Uh, uh, you, for our tech savvy guys, you can see a QR code on, the, uh, on, on each slide. Uh, if you want, you can scan it. This will basically take you to a Google form. Um, you can share your details and our team will actually get back to you and actually help you with the entire uh, process of onboarding you, getting you on Shopee or any other questions you may have. Uh, it will be on every single screen. So feel free to scan it whenever you want. Okay. Uh, as, as I was saying about the operations piece, let me emphasize it even more, right? So if you look at the payment, we understand the importance and concerns of um, our customers, uh, especially when they're transacting online. Uh, in the early generations of e-commerce, there was always a um, uh, lack of trust, uh, lack of confidence, and that's something Shopee has been uh, uh, very successful in solving. So for example, for our buyers who prefer cashless transactions, we have our own Shopee Pay, which is our Shopee's official in-app e-wallet. Uh, we also have MasterCard. We also have Visa uh, for our preferred and Shopee mall shops. Uh, simultaneously, we've also partnered with many banks where if you prefer to do online transactions or online banking, feel free to do so. Um, and of course, right, uh, in, in Philippines, remittance and payment centers are very dominant. So if you feel that's the best way or if your customers feel that's the best way to do transaction, uh, that's also an option. Uh, but for majority of the population uh, who prefer to still, let's say, do transaction by uh, cash only or COD, uh, cash only is available uh, across nationwide. Um, and, and it's still the preferred mode of payment choice for those making purchases online. Hi, Aki. Aki? Yes. Hi. Uh, we are receiving feedback from the audience that your slides are small. Is, is it? Is it possible if you can enlarge them? I think they're they're viewing of they're okay. That's better. Is it better now. That's better now. Thank you, Aki. Sure, sure, sure. Apologies for that. Um, uh, and, and uh, by the way, guys, if you feel uh, if you missed anything or you were not able to uh, again uh, see anything before because of this tech issue, uh, please raise it in the questions. If it's not answered, please scan this QR code and send it as a Google form. My team will make sure that we get back to you. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, talking about the second pillar of operations, right? Logistics. Uh, uh, it's very important as e-commerce that we are available everywhere, whether it's uh, North Luzon, whether it's Mindanao, whether it's Davao, whether it's Visayas, whether it's Cebu, every single uh, nook and cranny, cr uh, cranny of the country, we need to be available um, and provide excellent service. And hence we have partnered with multiple um, uh, third-party logistics companies. And of course, we also have our own Shopee Express. Uh, and this makes sure that we provide efficient and fast and seamless experience to our customers uh, and also to our, our, our sellers to make sure that your orders are getting picked up on time and you're getting a good experience while you're transacting on Shopee. Um, one question which I always uh, uh, all, I, I often hear, especially recently, on what, how are we making sure that we are, we are safe, our 3PLs are safe, the packages we are getting are safe uh, during, during scenarios like this, particularly in the last few weeks. Uh, and I want to re-emphasize this, uh, and I've emphasized this in a few other conversations, that Shopee is maintaining regular communications and, 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 uh, with sellers and buyers throughout COVID-19 crisis to make sure that they're well, they're updated, 
with the latest COVID news as well. Uh, I mean, we take extensive measures when it comes to safety of our customers and sellers, as well as delivery riders. It's, it's very important that our riders, our sellers, and our buyers are, are healthy, are safe, um, uh, and it's, it's, it's probably our most important uh, 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 factor right now in every decision we take. And we take extreme precautions to make sure that uh, our staff is also safe uh, and they're abiding by the social distancing measures implemented by the government. So if you look at what we do, like each uh, shop employee must follow the, uh, the, the measures that are in place very strictly. Uh, they must wear face masks um, uh, and, and sanitize their hands before handling any parcel. Um, uh, body temperatures of all our warehouse employees uh, and Shopee Express employees are being taken every day. And we're making sure uh, that all our warehouses are also sanitized regularly. Um, uh, there's also the contactless delivery where you can use the, uh, the, 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 the Shopee Pay or our credit cards or online banking transfer systems to pay without um, actually making any contact. Uh, so again, right, very important that all of you guys, all of our guys are safe and we go through this, uh, this crisis in a very uh, safe and sound manner. And, and as we are doing this, right, as we are making uh, uh, safety a priority, it's very important also to make sure that uh, uh, people are, uh, people have access to stuff they need. People have access uh, uh, to, to resources they need. And, in, in, and, and a big demand these days is essentials. It's, it's, it's food, it's groceries, it's milk products, it's uh, common day-to-day -day items. And hence, we are working very closely with our brands when it comes to and sellers to ensure that we manage the supply of these essential goods very well and make sure that every Filipino uh, has access to these essential goods uh, with, with a click of their phone. And hence, we launched uh, the 5-5 Shopee Mart sale from April 22nd to May 5. And the focus there is that users can get deals as low as 5 peso uh, with a zero min spend shipping uh, focused on essential uh, Goods. Uh, simultaneously, we've also partnered with uh, uh, several organizations, including Philippine Red Cross uh, and, and We Are the Children, uh, as well as Philippines General Hospital. And the idea was there to help our frontliners, uh, especially in this dire situation. Um, and hence, we went ahead and we donated uh, around 3,000 COVID test kits, as well as around 150,000 masks to various hospitals in Luzon uh, to make sure that uh, they, they, they make sure they, they the frontliners are well equipped and uh, helping us fight this battle very well. Of course, and we also launched our Shopee by Han uh, uh, campaign where the focus was again, uh, uh, getting getting resources for our frontliners. And we, we managed to donate around 2,800 uh, KFN for respiratory masks uh, to our frontliners. Um, again, Shopee is committed to helping our frontliners even in future. And as the situation changes or evolves, uh, uh, we'll make sure that we are always with the ones who are keeping us safe in this this crisis. Now, uh, I think the uh, probably the most important part of this, uh, and I think what probably matters the most uh, uh, for us in the next few days is how do you sell on Shopee? I, I believe, I hope most of you guys have uh, some sort of a shop on Shopee, but for those who don't, um, uh, maybe we can use this as an opportunity to identify or for me to uh, guide you on how to sell on Shopee. Again, remember, right, there's a QR code, so scan it. If you don't have any, if you, if you feel, if you have any questions afterwards, we'll reach out to you as well. So the basic requirement to sell on Shopee is very simple. Uh, all you need is, uh, uh, is a mobile phone uh, or, a, or a computer or laptop where, where, by which you can access web or the app. Uh, you, of course, need an internet connection. Your mobile data plan can also work. Um, you need bank account details so that you can receive the money as you are generating sales. And of course, you need the pickup address. So when you're making a transaction, when you're making a sale, our three PLs can come up, pick up your items and uh, bring it to the seller, bring it to the buyers. And that's it. You can start registering your business. And of course, when it comes to documents, uh, you need the BIR and certificate, certificate of registration. You need the DTI and SEC permits. And, and of course you need the collection receipt and sales invoice. So if you have all of these uh, and, and, and you have them handy right now, let me promise you by the end of this conversation, by the end of my presentation, it's so easy, you'd be already be able to set up your shops. So what you need to do? Um, you need to go to your uh, Play Store or, or your App Store, depending on which app, uh, which phone you have, and you should search for Shopee. Uh, again, it's, 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 uh, it's 
uh, it's the leading e-commerce platform in the country. So it should be very easy to, for you to find it. Just search Shopee and it should pop up right at top. Uh, once you uh, download Shopee, you should start creating an account. Uh, and and as, you, as you create the account, uh, if you can see my screen and feel free to take a screenshot if you, if you want to save it for later, or, or of course, you can always reach out to us. Uh, uh, you go and create, uh, register yourself as a seller account. Once you have registered yourself as a seller account, um, you click on your My Shop and you will see this, um, this drop down where you can choose to add your new product. Uh, and, and just by doing this, you can start creating your, uh, your, your inventory or your, your item list. To select the new product or to upload a new product, uh, literally take a photo uh, and, and take a good photo of it. I, we have often seen that photos and descriptions are uh, very correlated to amount of sales you can do. A good photo uh, can actually help you significantly in generating more sales and more revenue. So in Shopee, you can take up to nine photos per listing uh, take high quality photos and different variations uh, uh, and, 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 and put the naming so it's very accurate and it's complete. It's very honest to the buyers and good, give a good description. Make sure it's very descriptive. Make sure people, when they're buying it, they understand what they're buying. Um, and and, and, and if, even after that, if they have questions, of course, as I mentioned, there's a chat feature so they can always reach out to you. And I think that's it. Uh, with that, and as you set up the prices, you are ready to sell on Shopee. Uh, it's as easy as that. And uh, that's the core principle behind e-commerce and Shopee that uh, for you MSMEs who have set up your businesses, who have flourished, who have, uh, who have battled through these tough times, uh, we give you an opportunity to expand your business, to touch new horizons uh, using existing inventory, existing products, is the existing business skills you have uh, to reach out markets. Let's say you have never... Uh, you, you were not able to explore before uh, and we'll be partner with you in this journey. And as I mentioned, right, we'll be partner with you on this journey. Uh, we have taken a few measures to make sure we, uh, we, we focus on this even more. Uh, and the way seller Shopee is working, we call it the three M's uh, and it's focused on the market. Uh, so which means seller onboarding support, the marketing, which is education and marketing support and the money or the commercial support. Um, and we're working on each one of them to make sure uh, uh, that as you onboard to Shopee, as you join Shopee, or as even if, you, if you're already on Shopee, um, you get through these turbulent times uh, in, a, in a comfortable manner. So on market side, right, uh, we, we help our uh, uh, sellers uh, onboard on Shopee. So when, as I mentioned, right, there's a, there, there's a QR code. If you, if you want to... Uh, uh, come to Shopee, if you want having questions, there's a team which can help you get on Shopee very smoothly. Uh, uh, there's the marketing part or the education part. Um, I'll walk through this later, but there's a, we have, we have, we are putting extra emphasis on online education. We are doing webinars on how you can win through this uh, crisis, how you can increase your sale, what's the new normal looking like, uh, how you can leverage e-commerce more during these crises and so on. And of course there's money. So we are providing commercial support. Uh, uh, shop, there's a Shopee seller support program where we are uh, uh, providing 200 million peso worth of uh, commercial support uh, to our, our amazing sellers. Um, and I'll walk through this in a bit more detail. So if you look at the market, right, as I mentioned, again, there's the QR code, please scan it uh, and, and get to us. Uh, we'll help you with the setup support. We'll help you how to upload, what to do, uh, how to, what the prices you should set, which prices, which products you should deal in. I, I often have sellers, uh, uh, a good example is I, I often talk to sellers from Marikina who, uh, who are amazing manufacturers and uh, sellers of shoes. Uh, and, and they sell very high quality shoes. Uh, and they always ask me how, how we can compete with e-commerce, how we can compete with different markets, what are the prices we should set, what are the different varieties we should make. Uh, and our team, since they work with so many sellers, since they work with the entire industry, since they work with, uh, and they have a good understanding of shoe market, they often help these sellers. They often guide these sellers that, hey, you should bring this item, you should put it at this price point, this is how you should promote. Um, and I'm, 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 I'm almost emotional, but we, I, we have seen sellers who have uh, grown exponentially over the last few months, uh, working very closely with our team. Uh, so it's very important that, uh, that you leverage us as well uh, and we'll be always there to help you guys. Um, 
as I mentioned about the marketing and the education, right? So uh, again, we're gonna we are we we, we are emphas- overemphasizing on webinars. We're overemphasizing on trainings. Uh, some of the topics we are focusing on are specifically uh, tied to the current scenario. So how do you recover your business after this quarantine? How um, how how do you lead your business through this crisis? How do you uh, enhance your listings, as I mentioned, to uplift your sales? And of course, the operations elements. How do you make sure that your shop uh, is is recognized as a as a as, as a great operational shop among the among the buyers? So these webinars are public. Feel free to join them. Uh, our team will be happy to walk you through and, of course, answer as many questions uh, uh, you may have. And uh, of course, the important part, which is the uh, the money or the commercial support. So, as I mentioned ago, a few few seconds ago, we have launched this 200 million peso Shopee support program, uh, where the idea is to bring our sellers back and SMEs through this COVID crisis. Um, through this package, we aim to support both our local SMEs um, and and sellers with an existing online presence, as well as those who are looking to expand their business online. Uh, uh, and and this includes provisions of uh, reduced commission, transactions, voucher supports, uh, CFS, and so on. Uh, but also, of course, the education part. Uh, and, it, and the goal here is to so- soften the economic decline faced by uh, Filipino SMEs. As I mentioned, right, SMEs are core to our country. Uh, they're core to our company as well. I mean, you guys run, honestly, you guys run Shopee. So it's important that uh, uh, you guys recover very quickly. Um, and 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 both on the professional front and and actually very importantly also on the personal front. And Shopee will continue to take as many measures as possible and feasible uh, to help you on this crisis. Uh, uh, so if you want actually more details around this program, right? Again, uh, reach out to our team, scan the QR code. I'll also send the show the link later in the last slide. Uh, they'll be happy to share as many details as you want uh, and 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 take advantage of it. Uh, we created it with the hope. Uh, that uh, this will help our SMEs, this will help our economy. Uh, we already have a good amount of sellers who are part of this program now and have utilized it uh, and are sharing about it and are, and are talking about it. We recently launched an initiative where we started uh, selling health packages or health kits to, to some of our sellers. Um, and it, it humbles me, it, it, it makes me emotional when they, when they uh, talk about it in social media or when they talk about it in, among their friends that how they're feeling now safer because Shopee sent them uh, 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 a face mask or Shopee sent them hand sanitizers. Uh, so I think it's important that we work together uh, during this crisis. And, and finally, right, like uh, in long run, um, uh, as you set up the shop, as you take all these advantages that we are offering to you, as you are well-educated, you know like how to run the business and as, as uh, online, of course, you. Uh, and you transfer some of your offline skills also to online. Uh, uh, how what what can you optimize? So few few uh, tricks I can give you right away. So set buyers on Shopee uh, find discounts very attractive. They like freebies. They like bundling. They like gifts. So selling a T-shirt and bundling it with an umbrella often is found very attractive. For example, they love free delivery, uh, uh, and and uh, that's why we have also have programs like free shipping special. Uh, where we do zero min spend or very low min spend uh, to make sure that our buyers, even in distant provinces, are, are able to buy items without paying hefty shipping fee. They love low prices, of course. I think that's uh, that's very uh, obvious. Uh, but as I mentioned also, they also love very good product listings. So the quality of your listings, uh, making, making your uh, buyers trust your products and trust you as a seller, uh, let me tell you, goes a long, long way. And some of the biggest sellers, I, I'm sure you can hear success stories. I can't take names. Uh, uh, they're known in the market as, as trustworthy sellers because their listings, the quality of the products they have, uh, their chat response is, is, is very top notch. So you can try all of this. And of course, there's tons more, which uh, you can learn during our training sessions or uh, talking to our, uh, our, our team after this. Uh, so that's all I had for you guys. Uh, as I was mentioning, right, there's a QR code. It's, it's a bigger size now. Uh, there's also the link. So if you cannot scan the QR code, just go to your browser and type HTTPS uh, bit.ly uh, seller sign up um, and you'll be taken to a Google form. Fill up that form, share your contact detail. Uh, we'll keep it confidential and our uh, acquisition team will reach out to you and, 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 and share with you the, the more confidential details or descriptions. Uh, if you don't, 
if you feel rather uh, a hurry and you want to go do it right now, uh, I've shared the details of two of our colleagues, Carol and Janika. They work with our acquisition team uh, as well as seller education team. So call them, send them an email, and they'll be happy to help you right away um, or, 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 or share uh, more details online if you guys need. Uh, so with that, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having the patience to listen to me. Uh, I hope all of you are safe both personally and professionally stay that way. And I hope we all will get through this crisis um, uh, very soon. And when it's over, trust me, I think it's going to be beautiful. We all will be back. Uh, I, I, I can see there's a lot of opportunity uh, out there for all of us um, uh, after this crisis. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I don't know if you have time for questions, uh, guys. I think we have time for one or two questions, actually. Sure, sure, happy to. Uh, here's one uh, from Constantia Abai. Shapi, if I register as a seller, is it approved right away and can I sell my product? Sure, yes, if you, uh, if you, if you uh, set up a shop on Shopee, uh, you can start selling right away. But of course we have our, uh, uh, we, we, it's important that you don't set, uh, sell fraudulent items, you don't sell, uh, uh, you don't sell, sell unsafe items. And for that, we have our uh, uh, focus items team, our fraud checking team. And we of course make sure that uh, our, our buyers are also safe. But yes, from the seller's end, uh, uh, if you set up a shop right now, uh, you will be right instant. You will be live and able to sell instantly. Question from Rachel May Rosal. How do you consider the security of our private data, especially credit and debit cards? Because sometimes we hesitate to input our data for fear of hacking or phishing. No, that's that's a very fair that's a very fair question, and I I I, uh, I, I think that's 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 very evident. That's and that's very important, especially in the digital age. And I think Shopee is very uh, 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 Shopee cares a lot about this. It's it's uh, our buyers' money, our sellers' money, our uh, these transactions, the, they need to be top notch. And hence we have partnered with uh, uh, world-class uh, payment channels. So for example, when we, uh, even when we work, work with credit, credit cards and debit cards, uh, we work with some of the world's most renowned uh, uh, payment channels. Uh, some of this is confidential probably, so I cannot share, uh, but we work with some of the world's best known uh, payment channels. They are all SSL secured uh, uh, and, and, and they follow the world's best practices when it comes to payment transactions. And similarly, when we were building our own uh, wallet, when we have Shopee uh, uh, Pay, which you should feel comfortable to use, we make sure that this was also evident there. So uh, it's it's completely safe. It follows the well's uh, best in class standards when it comes to data transfer, data security, data privacy, and, and, and payment uh, transaction safety norms. Question from Jeff Lee. Who manages the taxes for sellers on Shopee? Sure. Uh, so taxes are a uh, responsibility of the sellers um, and uh, they, sh they should be working with the required authorities and they should be uh, filing those taxes for themselves. But Shopee is always there to help you and guide you. We can educate you. Um, and we have webinars where we guide the sellers on what documents and so on. But uh, end of the day, the onus is on the sellers um, uh, to do the taxes. Question from Michael Anthony F. Lopez. Uh, at yesterday's session, I remember Akshay mentioned that shelf life for food items or most products should have a three month shelf life. Would there be a change to a shorter shelf life to sell products? Uh, sure, I think that was great. That's one of my colleagues, uh, but uh, I think that's a fair question. Uh, we, I think it's a bit more technical. Uh, uh, I would suggest send it an email and we can check especially which product you're talking about. Uh, but again, right, uh, for us, it's uh, important to also take care of our buyer's uh, uh, safety. So some of these food items, uh, it's, it's, it's important for us to uh, make sure the shelf life is long enough. And hence, when buyers are buying it, they can consume it in right time. But if you're talking about any specific uh, item within the food product, please send us an email and we can go into more details. And I think we have time for one final question. This is from Hannah Angana. There are some issues about drivers who open the boxes. Is it true and how, how is that dealt with? Sure. So we are, uh, whether, whether, whether it's our Shopee Express or whether it's uh, our, our partnering 3PLs, uh, 
uh, we are very stringent when it comes to uh, uh, safety and security of our packages. It's it's very paramount, uh, uh, and and we make sure such incidents or such uh, uh, actions don't happen. Uh, but if they do happen, uh, uh, we we have an entire process for it. And hence, right sellers, our buyers have the the the, the refund and return options. Um, and if also for the sellers front, right, like for any loss items or damages, uh, we make sure that they are. They are monetized for it. They 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 don't they don't lose money for it. Uh, so every single incident that has been raised to us historically, we have taken stringent action on it. Uh, whether it comes to our own third party, our, our own uh, fleet, or 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 our three PLs, and uh, we work very closely with three our sellers on this. So we make sure that no matter what, seller should never take the brunt. The moment you have shipped your order uh, to to the to the buyers, uh, we make sure you are you you are generating revenue because of it. That's reassuring, Akshay. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us today. Sure. Thank you so much. Stay safe, guys. And thank you so much. All right. Uh, for those of you who have questions, and apparently there's quite a lot, uh, the back end team of Shopee will try to answer as many questions as they can in the Zoom Q&A. So we'll get back to you with answers to your questions. For now, though, it's time to introduce our next speakers, CEO Goda Roldan and Executive Strategic Planning Director Pam Garcia of Wonderman Thompson. Hello. Good afternoon. Everyone hear me? As I just uh, shared. We have you loud and clear. And okay. we see your slides. All right, great. Hello, I'm Golda Roldan, and I am joined here by uh, my colleagues, Noel Permento, our e-commerce lead, Jason T, our digital strategist, and Pam Garcia, our head of um, strategic planning. And before we actually start sharing, uh, I'd like to thank ASEC Jean and um, Joel Santos of Attempts for this opportunity to, to be um, the creative partner for, for this effort from DTI. Um, we are actually, so I've introduced my team and um, we are Wonderman Thompson. Um, we are about to share with you trends to watch in 2020. Um, this is where we identify emerging consumer behaviors. And this is something that we've been doing for more than a decade. But before that, I just wanna quickly um, introduce um, who we are and what we do. So brands everywhere, we face, we face a growth, they face a growth challenge. And, and this challenge is, um, can be manifested in different ways. It could be the growth of business in terms of sales or market share, could be the growth of a brand or uh, brand love, could be growth up for brand love or customer numbers, could be about people, could be about sustainability. And uh, if you think about the times we live in now amid the, this crisis we're going through, this challenge is really recurring and more relevant more than ever. We are a growth partner. That is really our role in order to help our clients grow. We bring together the capabilities of a creative agency, um, a consultancy, and a technology company within one organization that, we, that is Wonderman Thompson. And our mission is to inspire growth for ambitious brands. We provide inspiration to help brands achieve their growth of objectives. Kung ano man ang objectives nila that we that they're going to define, that they're going to brief us on. Um, this is just an example. These are samples of work that we've done with our partners. Um, if you're familiar with the KitKat bench that um, you see you see in parks in BGC, we are the agency behind that. We work with our client Nestle KitKat. We also did a. a, a a digital integrated campaign that we developed with our partner J and J together with the uh, OH. It's an integrated campaign where we created a platform for BPO agents and to help uplift um, their state, of, their physical, mental state, giving them more, you know, quick access to health management info and top of the line meds. Um, another work that we've done last December, if you're familiar with the Globe Star Wars um, uh, video, that was also done by us together with our partner um, Globe. Um, as a growth part partner, we actually inspire growth in many different ways. These are just the, the different um, ways that we can help our, our, our clients, whether it's from building brands or creating experiences to building platforms to actually um, guiding decisions with data. So all of these are ways of how we can inspire growth for our clients and our partners. And we're proud. Um, we're very proud when we look at our clients as we partner with them for growth and across different categories. Um, these are just the different capabilities that we do, uh, brand and customer experiences from communication, CRM, 
um, commerce and consulting uh, from technology to data and collision is really just a way of thinking and that's some that's like a workshop um, tool that we that we partner with our, with our clients and underpinning our culture of inspiration are our four core values um, we have this sense of being in it together and being always part of a team uh, this we have this positivity and this can do attitude that supports our business actually that picture over there would be our our, our, our total agency um, creative bravery is, uh, is really about taking more bold action in order to lead growth with our clients and finally the the behavior of listening actively in order to understand consumers and our clients as we as we work together because our mission is inspiring growth we always end our credentials when they introduce us with some form of inspiration in this case this is a quote by Howard Schultz from Starbucks when he said when you are surrounded by people who share a passionate commitment around a common purpose anything is possible so um, speaking of um, purpose I will stop here now and I'll turn you over to our um, Pam to our head of strategy Pam to uh, start sharing with you our trends for 2020. Okay, good afternoon, guys, and thank you for spending your time with us. So as Goda said, part of Wonderman Thompson's uh, mission or purpose is to inspire businesses and brands to actually um, reimagine themselves in the new economy. So actually, in the next slide, we'd like to show you our theme for today. So um, I think, uh, yes, okay. So in the next slide, actually, before this, okay, hold on. There, okay, thank you, Golda. Golda's actually our slide master. Okay, so in the next slide, we'd like to show you um, the trend sources for today. So we actually prepared five trends for you today, but rest assured that usually Wonderman Thompson, we've actually been doing this for the past 11 years. We actually source global trends, which are consumer shifts in mindsets and attitudes from an annual deck of 100 future trends from our global office. And this is actually locally validated with qualitative researches or focus groups, usually at the end of the previous year, which we conducted in December 2019. But for this year, it's also supplemented by a quantitative study of about 4,500 Gen Z consumers, po. sila po yung 13 to 23-year-old youngest consumers natin. And we've actually used those two sources to analyze five trends that we think businesses will be interested in to reimagine their core for this year. Okay, if we can move on to the next slide, this is just a snapshot of the five um, trends that you're going to see today. So we're gonna talk about optimism, singles, taboos, future-proofing, and new digital communities. Okay, let's start off with the first trend. So the first trend is all about optimistic futures. And if you're seeing uh, the screen now, what it actually tells us is it's re exciting businesses and brands to be able to adopt an optimistic outlook for 2020 and beyond amidst uncertain times. So that's actually uh, trend number one, which is optimistic futures. And if you can go to the next slide, why we think this is interesting for brands and businesses is because the past years have left societies across the world quite anxious like we are all now because everything's unsettled, political, economic, and environmental times. Medyo uncertain po talaga ang times natin ngayon. So what we've researched from our consumers is that they're eager naman na even if they see all the news every day, they're eager to move the conversation from tough times to a thoughtful outlook that is both realistic and optimistic for a more reassuring future. So that's the why this trend is interesting. Moving on to the next slide, Actually, meron po kaming na-research din dun sa mga qualitatives namin, kaya may mga consumer ver ver verbatims tayo today, is that meron pa rin pong barrier dito sa trend na optimistic future. For example po, the outdated mindsets ng older generation, generation shared by Shara, a 23-year-old student, is that during the time of her parents, hindi mas sila masyadong digital yung interaction. So mas physical, face-to-face -face interaction pa sila. So kaya may instances na hindi sila makarelate sa mga issues pinagdadaanan namin, di ba? So medyo nahihirapan silang optimism kasi nag, uh, nagko-collide or nagko-conflict yung with their parents. But what's a driver for this trend is there's also changing times and changing views. So according to another student, a Gen Z student whose name is Joe, Siya naman, she's finding it optimistic because right now, her issues of mental health is also being discussed. Mas open na daw to how people feel. 
And now people are more open and accepting na mag-break or mag-pause for mental health. And that she finds optimistic because we're all helping each other do this. Okay, so that, that's uh, for learning the drivers and the barriers. Moving on to the next slide, what we have here is actually some quick quantitative data para po dun sa mahilig sa data po, di ba? So what we found that among APAC Gen Z, itong 13 to 23-year-olds natin, 74% of them feel that their generation is better off than their parents. And in fact, mas higher number pa yan sa Filipino Gen Z in our survey. 78% po feel more optimistic pa. So that's actually a good sign for our next generation. Okay, let's go quickly to the next slide and just give you po mga what ifs, thought starters, na mga makatulong sa pag -re imagine ng mga negosyo natin. So based on this trend of the first one, which is the optimistic futures, what we're putting down here is some what ifs po. How can businesses and brands provide an optimistic yet realistic point of view in today's uncertain times? That's the first trend. And the second trend, uh, the second thought starter rather, is about in what ways can businesses and brands provide reassurance or comfort to customers and audiences, pero in a way na nakaka-empathize tayo sa ano yung feelings nila. Okay, that's the first trend. Let's go through four more. Uh, let, going to the next slide, you should be seeing trend number two, which is a uh, singles lexicon time spending. So this one we felt was something quite interesting for our mga negosyante kasi it's spinning down this new segment. Kasi po with more empathy and inclusivity in the world comes new language and new ways of spending to reflect the many ways to live without a partner. So in the next slide, we've discovered that this is so interesting po kasi culture is experiencing a push na i-reframe natin yung single people as they really are, how they want to be seen, confident, fulfilled, and empowered. So very quickly into the next slide, we've researched some barriers kasi meron pa rin po mga consumers natin in the case of Rosanna, a restaurant owner, na unwilling pa siya mag-accept, diba? That singlehood is something that is empowering. In fact, he told us that pag may makikita pa daw siyang mag-isa nanonood ng sine, parang feeling niya, kawawa naman masyadong loner, masyadong boring yun. But another driver naman that makes this trend more significant is that for other people naman po, Singlehood is actually independence and more spending power. Nakakatuwa nga po si Lorenzo, our consumer who's a 27-year-old millennial. Sabi niya, ayoko magpakasal para sa akin lang yung pera ko. But it's not for any selfish motive. It's actually so that I can control my own progression and my own development. And then even Alyssa, an even younger consumer, told us she noticed that it's super relevant that people are looking after their own independence and their own passions and interests. So that's why that's an important uh, driver that proves that this trend is significant. Moving to the next slide, I think we have a video that will play that shows you a business example of how an airline, though we cannot actually uh, fly today, it just gives you an idea of a business idea for singles. Hopefully, if the video plays. Oh. <laughs> It's moments like these that I will cherish for a lifetime. Nothing beats that feeling I get when I travel solo. solo. I can rejoice in the exact moment when I know I am making memories that will last a lifetime. I can spend my time indulging in all my favorite desserts. Who said anything about sharing? I have all the time in the world to enjoy what I'm looking at. I can admire beauty and just be in the moment without, without any, any distractions. distractions. Your solo adventure awaits this singles day. Okay. Okay, so that's an example po of a business idea that is like a solo adventure promo or a opportunity for singles. And what we found interesting in other examples of this is, of course, all our e-commerce uh, partners have all their singles day. We have different new language. Like if you remember po nung nag-divorce si Gwyneth Paltrow at si Chris Martin, ang tawag nila ay conscious uncoupling. Hindi siya divorce, di ba? And then when Emma Watson said, uh, celebrating her singlehood, she talked about new language called self-partnering. So that's an example of a proof of this trend. So moving to the thought starter for this trend, 
what we found that can be interesting to businesses and brands is that how can we address this need na growing po kasi tong single segment na to. They, all, they call themselves different things. Sologamists, diba? self-partnered, uncoupled, and they need to be affirmed and not judged for their single status. Meron po tayong mga negosyo ideas, stories, other language that actually celebrate singledom and singlehood and drive conversations that include them and support their different but chosen lifestyle. So that's another trend for you. I'll move quickly to another interesting trend din po, and this is called untabuing of the East. And what we find actually na interesting dito is ito po yung mga tabus, yung mga bawal, di ba? Na previously medyo hindi pinag-uusapan dito sa Asia. But what we found in this trend is that slowly but surely, some long-established taboos surrounding gender, mental health, and sexual health are falling away in Asia. So for example po, in the next slide, what we find is that why this is very interesting is Asian survey data and anecdotal evidence actually show that there's a shift in openness about traditional health discussion taboos and even discussions about gender and um, how we're being limited by that before. For example, po, in our survey of 2,500 consumers in five countries, um, mental health is a big concern and it's being discussed. And also in our Generation Z Asia report of the youngest consumers, gender is not uh, anymore defining a person as much as it used to. So very much more supported by data itong trend na to. Okay, moving to the next slide. What drives this trend? Actually, wala po kaming nahanap na barrier. It's really more of a driver that supports the fact na because our youngest people are all socially connected. In fact, po, the, the median age for the Philippines is just 26 years old. All of these online discussions has helped shape awareness and acceptance and discussions about gender, gender mental health, and sexual health. For example, for Rafa, a young millennial who we spoke to said, dati kasi hindi exposed yung mga tao sa iba't ibang gender. Ngayon, um, hindi lang sila somebody that you will encounter at the salon. Now, you have all kinds of genders in politics, engineering, all fields. Nagbe-build na yung acceptance sa lahat sa kanila. Hashtag woke, di po ba? Na nakaka-raise ng awareness ang LGBT in more uh, roles in society that they play. And then Cass actually also echoed out and says that in terms of mental health, dati kasi diba, the discussion was, ha, depressed ka, nag inerte ka lang ata. But actually now, the more discussions, the more practices actually, and the more ways we can help each other, maybe discuss na daw yun in our circles. So that's uh, consumer verbatim for this trend. Moving on to the next slide. Well, what we think you might be interested to check later diba, when you go into the video of this trend is actually a movement in Japan called Kutu. Why is this an interesting example of the untabooing of the East trend? It actually came from an idea of an actress and a freelance writer in Japan. This is her name, Yumi Ishikawa. She actually had a job as a receptionist in a funeral parlor, but she noticed that everyone in the office, all the gentlemen were wearing comfortable business shoes, but all the ladies had to be required to wear heels. And what she found is that she felt it was the demeaning to the gender of women because it resulted in real harm. So she actually created an online petition for the government to make it illegal for employers to force workers, female workers, to wear high heels. It netted 31,000 signatures. She was even featured in the BBC. And in fact, kaya po ito importanteng uh, interesting point for negotiantes. She created her own business, which she called Kutu Follower. She launched a line of flat shoes that look very businessy. And I think that's the picture you see there, diba? So, mukha pa rin siyang corporate, pero flat for the women. Okay, so, napakwenta ako po dun sa trend na yun kasi ang interesting niyang business. But moving to the next slide, we'd like to show the thought starters for this trend, which is, for our brands and businesses, meron ba tayong naiisip na mga bawal, mga tabus na in gender, sexual health, mental health, or other kinds of tabus na a business or a brand can actually help break or normalize? And another thought starter would be how can our businesses and brands have a positive and seamless participation in the conversations surrounding these tabus? Okay, so that's another trend for us. Let's move on to, I think you should be seeing trend number four. So trend number four po, is all about future-proofing the planet, but how we're going to, in a way, talk to you about it po, is in the industry of, or language of food. So what we found for this trend is that as pressure to reduce food waste continues to mount, 
climate consciousness are opening up to new recipes that are not only healthy for themselves, but healthy for the planet also. So that's the description of trend future-proof recipes. If we move to the next slide, why this is very, very interesting is because apparently consumers are starting to be more curious. Ano daw po ba itong climate diet? So it's actually climate diet is consuming less meat and dairy and seeking environmentally friendly alternatives. So it's about food brands needing to start producing healthy and sustainable foods that not only make it healthy for us, our bodies, but also nourish the planet as well. So as IKEA's research lab called Space Tender, actually the example for this trend, it's about inspiring people to explore delicious flavors and sustainable healthy ingredients. Pero nakakatulong ka rin sa food diversity. Dito daw po lalabas na mag experiment na tayo soon about burgers made of bugs and mealworms, chichiria like potato chips coming from algae or popsicles na galing din sa seaweed or algae, diba? So they're made from the unusual. Mas marami pong supply sa planet, so they're planet-saving ingredients. So very, very interesting example. Moving on to the next slide, it's a bit more of ito po ba may barrier at may driver yung trend na to. So nung ni-research natin siya dito among Filipino consumers, what we found is that awareness is limited to what we what we know medyo basically po, di ba? So according to our consumer's name is Carl Ann, ang alam lang niya yung nakikita niya sa FB na yung Nutriasia as a brand, meron silang bring your own bottle booth. Diba? So she actually has shampoo bottles na pwedeng refill Hanggang dun pa lang yung alam niyang way to help with climate change. Diba? So may limited awareness pa siya. But what uh, drives this trend is the opportunity na among higher income consumers who are very experimental and have gourmet palates, nag-iisip-isip na sila. Like for example, for Kyle, she... He knows this uh, brand called corn, which is a meat alternative. And then he knows also that meats actually take more resources out of the, the planet. They take more water, more energy to consume. So nagahanap-hanap nang siya ng ways to experiment with his food that uh, uses planet-friendly ingredients. Okay, so we learned from our consumers on this trend. Um, I mentioned this earlier in the next uh, this slide, which is IKEA Labs. Uh, space then so they're exploring fish tacos made of freshwater fish that they grow in their own backyard use, using aquaponic system and they also look at uh, impossible foods impossible burger which is a plant-based burger plant-based burger that actually starting to be experimented on and sold in burger king and white castle who are uh, food restaurants uh, establishments in the u.s so that's an example of this trend and in the next slide, I think if you're on the thought starter slide now for uh, the future-proof recipes trend, um, it's all about businesses and brands thinking of ways to be more concerned about planet species diversity. How can businesses and brands collaborate to get more consumers and foodies to not just eat healthily for themselves, but to benefit the planet as well? And how can businesses and brands collaborate with and support other brands in the health and fitness sphere to use widely available ingredients for their future food innovations and flavors? Okay, moving on, I think we have the last trend for you guys today. So we're now on trend number five, and it's called new digital communities. So that po, di ba? with social media, para mihan tayo ng friends list, para mihan tayo ng likes. What's interesting about this trend is now social media is having an intimate, private moment where we avoid the endless friends list daw po in favor of more intimate con connections with a selected few. So if you move to the next slide, why this fifth trend is interesting is because consumers are shifting into smaller, tight-knit, like-minded groups. Brands will have new opportunities to make genuine connections in online spaces. Okay, so let's move to what are the drivers of this trend. So we actually found no, no barriers for this, this trend. So a driver for the new digital communities trend is, I think it was discussed earlier, medyo meron na tayo hankering for more privacy, coupled with now authenticity, but with fewer people. So as mentioned earlier, counting of likes is not necessary. Some young consumers actually value more close connections with their chosen set of friends. As our student uh, consumer told us, nangyayari po ito ngayon, most of my friends are, have Finsta or what you call the fake Insta. Tapos yung closest friends lang yung kasama niya doon. Meron na rin feature yung IG stories na close friends. Mas gusto nila yung authentic engagement with people. Yung mga friends lang talaga nila. 
And then another uh, Gen Z student told us, sa IG nga, alam din niya may close friends din, di ba minsan doon yung may pinupuntahan ka, ayaw mong malaman ng family mo, <laughs> ng mga magulang mo, or their older relatives mo, na pumunta ka doon. Gusto mo yung close friends mo lang, gusto ipakita. So this just shows you with this driver slide trend of new digital communities. It's about intimacy, but also authenticity. That's why the example in the next slide just shows Instagram's other feature, which is co-watching with friends. We believe they just launched it March 24. And it's about enabling your selected close group of friends to view Instagram posts together with you. And it's about multiple friends that can connect via video chat and browse content as a group. So it's all about kayo-kayo, sabay-sabay, kahit konti kayo, nagkakaintindihan kayo, pareho kayo ng interests and passions. Okay, so the thought starters for this trend is actually all about in this age of distancing, diba? real life distancing tayo na yun. Maybe there are mga negosyo ideas. So how can our business brands or platforms aid in preserving a tightly knit close group of friends and family? Or another wild card, uh, what if lang po, can multiple businesses, brands, or platforms collaborate if they happen to be cross-consumed or mentioned in conversations by the same small circle of friends? So what can we do to create new stories or experiences tackling this? So for example, a what-if example for this second thought starter lang po is if we find that, let's say, new moms with new babies, actually, that's their one interest. But within their conversations, we found that their other similar interest is their fitness buffs. Because they need to be able to strengthen their bodies because they're carrying babies. Diba, ngayon? Medyo kailangan nila na maging strong yung arms. Diba? So those kinds of two intimate topics within the same group can net an actual negosyo idea for that particular group of moms, for example. So example lang po yun. Okay, so actually that's the fifth trend and the fifth thought starter. We actually went through trends uh, optimistic future, singles lexicon spending, um, antabuing ease, future proof recipes, and new digital community. So you should be seeing on your screen actually the video inspiration for trend that pwede nyo pong puntahan later. And I think um, that's all we have for today, right, Golda? There. So actually, I think you, you will be seeing our thank you slide. And if you have further questions, po, uh, those are our email addresses on the screen that you see today. So I'm Pam, and with me is our CEO, Golda. And if you're interested, kasi 100 po talaga yung trends na yan. Meron pong link dyan na nakalagay na Future 100 uh, Trends. You can download it for free on Wonderman Thompson Intelligence, which is our global trend bank. Um, thank you so much for listening. I hope you're staying safe and peaceful at home. Uh, mm -hmm. Pam, we have time for one or two questions, if that's all right. Sure. We'll try our best. <laughs> all right. Uh, we have a doozy of a question from Sam Acosta. Um, he says here, one of the greatest challenges of e-commerce and fintech is cybersecurity. We hear about big companies, including Google and Facebook, being hit tremendously. What can you say about your company's cybersecurity posture? What methodologies or frameworks do you have in place? Ah, okay. So, go there. You have. A... Yeah. Well, yeah. It's go. Really, it's really a simple answer. We we do have a, a digital. Uh, sorry, a data privacy officer, uh, because that's actually um, we are every company would need a DPO. So, uh, our our data and tech team uh, are always finding and making sure that uh, we protect the data that we are um, actually sharing with our clients. But more often than not, we really don't, um, hang on, I'm just gonna, we, the, the partners that we work with uh, don't really share the data with us, our clients, because that's first party data. If we are going to manage then the data of our clients, it is in, within their premises. So, uh, but again, the simple answer to that is we are guided by, um the the law so, and we have a digital privacy uh, a data privacy officer who will follow, who actually guide us in the agency yeah uh gold if i can add to that on the consumer intelligence bit so the qualitative verbatims that you're seeing actually so those are uh, very confidential consumer interviews we actually change the first names but their honest opinions their locations are also um covered but their verbatims and their insights are actually as is. It's also our way of protecting our consumer intelligence as well. Yes. 
So I have a, yes. Carlo, I have a question for Wonderman. Yes, that you, Joey. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Golda. Thank you, Pam, for your presentation. Um, just I guess for our viewers, because uh, you know, our viewers are mixed, but um, you talked about maybe it's in somewhere of your it's it's there in some of your other uh, data sets is that who is the biggest uh, consumer from from your experience or from your data of e-commerce related products is it gen z or is it the millennials or so and then uh, what do they look for in general from all of the e-commerce platforms and and maybe you can tell our audience also what's the difference between Gen Z and millennials because sometimes they they mix it up. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have specific quantitative on that, except in an APAC Gen Z report. What we found is that uh, gamers, na Gen Z, they're uh, twenty four or to twenty eight percent of them are actually gaming every day, and while they're on the platform, they actually purchase games and gaming accessories. So kahit maliit siya na number, parang maganda siyang to watch out for, di ba? But over on the quals, it's a mix eh. It used to be, it's just the younger consumers. But right now, I think given the situation, it's all walks of life. We have even boomers, Gen Xers, kung ano yung kailangan nila at this point in time. Basta merong supply from their digital platforms. They're interested actually. All walks of life, all ages. I, I hope that answers you in a qualitative sense. At least that's what we're learning. Okay, thank you. All right, so thank you very much, uh, Golda and Pam. Uh, uh, you've helped us out a lot. So it's time for us to introduce our next speakers. Uh, we have JP Soliman, Vice President of Union Bank Global Linker, here to speak with us now. Thank you. Hi. Uh, I hope I'm coming in loud and clear. Uh, yes, we hear you. Maybe turn up yes. your volume just a bit. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll probably bring the mic closer to my mouth. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Uh, I see we have so much, uh, so many, so many, many viewers right now, and I'm very, very happy to be here. I give my special thanks to ASIC Gene and the people of Thames. Of Thames. Thank you so much for this one. And uh, while I'm sharing my screen, uh, I'd like to advise everyone that uh, as, as I was listening to all of the sharings and all of the uh, presentations of our partners earlier, it's very, very nice to really note that, uh, and also looking at the questions that a lot of us are really, I think about ready to, to jump into the e-commerce bandwagon really, uh, jump into the e-commerce uh, space of doing business. And that's why I'm very, very happy to share with everyone right now uh, a special program that we have for SMEs, ma made especially for SMEs, which is what we call the Union Bank Global Linker. Now, during this presentation, mas, mas mag-focus po ako sa bandang dulo para ma maturuan kung paano gumawa ng isang e-commerce website because dito po sa Global Linker, binibigay po namin siya ng libre para sa lahat ng members namin. So all you have to do lang po, ay mag sign up at meron na po kayong libreng website para po sa e-commerce. Uh, later on po, sana po magtanong din po kayo kasi normally, marami po kami nare-receive na comments from members na ano ba ang diferensya between a website and yung mag-shopee ako or mag-lazada ako. May diferensya po doon. May pagkakaiba po yun. And sana po along the way, makita nyo din po kung ano yung difference niya. Alright, so... Uh, una una po, uh, ano po ba si Global Linker? So gumawa po kami ng platform, gumawa po kami ng, ng uh, online platform together with partners po namin in different countries. So marami pong iba-ibang Global Linker sa buong mundo where uh, we, we put together the SMEs uh, all over the world para po magkaroon ng business matching uh, opportunity. Doon po siya nagsimula, business matching opportunity. So, kung meron tayo po sa Pilipinas, meron po tayong around 42,000 SMEs na member po sa ating platform plus close to around 300,000 na po all over the world. So, imagine you can you can start new business opportunities like exporting or maybe a supply chain with them together with those partners in India, in Vietnam, in Japan, in Europe, in US, and so forth po. So, meron po siyang ganun sa loob. Of course, we also 
we also use the power of the people dito po sa platform namin. So ang ginagawa po namin is nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga pre-negotiated deals or mga special offers with other partner service providers and we immediately get a special pricing for our members. Yan, meron din po kami mga events, meron din po kami mga forums na nangyayari sa loob. Later po, I'll share some uh, sample forums and events sa inyo. Uh, and we built po si Global Linker para hindi naman po siya yung para sa isang tao lang. Actually, ang Global Linker po is accessible by anyone and everyone using a mobile phone, a tablet, or a, or a computer, a laptop. And pwede po ninyo ipasok even your own employees sa loob. Meron po kami mga members na sampung empleyado po nila. Lahat sila members ng Global Linker under one single banner. Kasi right there po, iba-ibang trabaho po ng mga empleyado natin na ma-maximize nila sa loob ng platform. Kung nasa sales po yung tao, pwede siya mag-network. Kung nasa HR po siya, meron po kami mga tools sa loob for HR. Kung nasa finance, meron din po kami financing tools para sa kanila. At habang tumatagal po, napapaganda pa namin na napapaganda yung Global Linker. In fact, ngayon po, I can already say na live and ready na po yung aming inventory management tool sa loob. Libre din po namin binibigay yun kapag may Linker Store kayo. Meron din po kaming CRM na madaling gamitin. Mamaya, mak makikita niyo po yung mga itsura nun. Right now po, nagpo-program kami ng HRIS and payroll solution sa loob. At uh, tinitignan po namin na magiging libre din po siya sa mga SMEs na may 0 to 50 uh, number of employees. And we're also partnering with another tech company para po makagawa kami ng Linker Store app. So kung meron na po kayong website, meron din po kayong app. Uh, app po na makoconnect natin sa mga social media para doon po ang mangyarang bentahan. Ayan. So ano po ba yung itsura ng loob ng Global Linker? Ito po siya. So meron po kami knowledge base. Right now po, meron ng mga siguro po na sa mga topics na po yung different articles, self-help articles, and uh, different discussions na tungkol po sa paano, yung, paano patakboy ng business. Uh, depende din po sa industry, kung nasa travel agency po kayo, or retailer po kayo, or manufacturing, may iba-iba pong mga discussions and articles doon. And very important po is meron mga groups. Yung groups po namin, ito po nag, yung mga members na kakaroon sila na sarili-sarili nila mga discussion forums on their own. So may group for retailers, for fashion, for technology, for banking, na pwede nyo pong salihan. In fact, these groups can also have uh, members from other countries. So sometimes po nagkakaroon ng sharing of best practices between them. And we have what we call listings. Ito ba bago ito sa Global Linker? Ang listings po, as an SME, pwede nyo ipakita po ano yung mga produkto ninyo. Now, as an SME, kung meron po kayong sarili nyo ding website, pwede na po kayo ma-engage na iba-ibang mga members natin dyan po sa loob ng linker mismo. So nakakakita po kami ng mga B2B or business-to-business -business transactions between members, both local and international, dito po sa listings. Ang kaibahan lang po, si listings po kasi ngayon, sa loob lang po talaga ng global linker na platform siya. Hindi po siya connected sa Shopee or sa Lazada. Pero kung titignan niyo po, halos pareho yung kanyang user experience. May plano po kami dyan later on. Later on po, itong listings na to will be part of a global listing uh, project that we are also crafting right now. And then of course, we have events. Para pong itong control biz natin ng mga webinars, pinost po namin yan sa loob ng linker and nakalink po yan diretso dito sa uh, registration pages ng DTI for the control biz. And we provide assistance in everything. Like we have, all, ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung mga partners namin. We've already pre-identified and vouched for the partners for you. So alam nyo po na itong mga partners na to are not fly by night. Hindi nyo po nila kayo tatakbuhan. We've made sure that we have the right partners involved. Like we have partners for financing. We have partners for ERP. We have partners for, uh, name it, uh, we even have for hotel bookings. And of course, in terms of the banking side, uh, we have the banking solutions page for you available. Ito po ang maganda sa Union Bank Global Linker. Libre po siya, kahit sino po pwede. We encourage as much as possible all types of SMEs to join, any industry, any size. You do not have to be an account holder of Union Bank para po makasali sa Global Linker. Kahit ang banko niyo po, yung mga kaibigan nating banko, iba-iba yan, Okay lang po sa amin yan. Pwede po kayo maging kasama sa Global Linker.
Ayan, ito po yung maganda. Like uh, I showed kanina, we have forums and groups. Ayan, iba-ibang mga marketing group, business strategy groups. And kakasimula din, din, din po namin, meron po kami special forum ngayon sa loob that you might want to join. We call it Project Lifeline. It's a partnership with uh, uh, different uh, lawyers na nag-volunteer po. And we give free legal aid and legal advices to SMEs. Pwede po kayo mag-post ng question dyan. Pwede po kayo mag-post ng mga issues. And our legal aid partners will help you and uh, guide you also all throughout. Uh, especially this COVID-19 situation and after this. Na po. Yan. So level up your business. Again, meron po kami linker store and we have all the different tools. Now, I'd like to share with you po how to build a linker store. Kasi most of our partners are showing din naman po how to help, di ba? how to build. So first things first po, we created a special landing page for Control Biz. So ito po yung kanyang QR code. Ito po yung kanyang mga URL kung gusto nyo pong itype sa Google. So unionbank.globalinker.com slash ctrlbiz or ito po yung shortcut t.globalinker.com slash ctrlbiz. Pag pumasok po kayo dyan, makikita nyo po ito, itong screen na to. So pwede po kayo mag-sign up sa Global Linker gamit po inyong Facebook account or yung Google account or kung meron po kayong sariling email address na gustong gamitin. Pagkapasok nyo po, ang makikita nyo page ay ito. Papasok po kayo dun sa aming sinasabing special group, which is Control Biz Reboot Now Group. And you can join that. And makikita nyo po sa taas yung mga tabs na pwede nyo na pong gamitin sa loob ng Global Linker. Magkakaroon po kayo ng dalawang pages. Ito po yung group page kasi po sumali kayo dito sa special link na ito. At magkakaroon kayo yun sa sarili nyo profile page. So profile page, nandun po yung picture ninyo, nandun po yung company nyo, yung mga friends ninyo na isasali nyo po sa link and everything else. Now if you click online store, kailangan nyo lang po i-click get started because there's five steps that you will go through. Step number four and step number five are optional steps. I will share with you later on po. Alright, step number one, pipili po kayo po na magiging itsura ng website ninyo. Meron po kami iba-ibang themes sa loob. And we made the themes na po na naka-recommend na po siya. Kung ang produkto nyo is uh, say pagkain or electronics or damit. Meron na po kami mga recommended themes. Ang mangyayari na lang po is drag and drop na lang po kayo ng picture ng inyong mga produkto sa loob. Now, Meron po mga uh, uh, businesses that may be in the service industry or maybe not a hard product. Meron din po mga themes that available for you. So say massage or maybe you do uh, house construction services. Meron po mga themes yan for you. Ang gagawin niya na lang po is ilalagay niyo po kung ano yung pangalan ng store niyo at bibigyan na po namin kay libre na uh, store name or URL. Ito po yung mga .com, .ph. Normally po, ang libre na binibigyan namin is yung pangalan po ng store nyo, .linker.store. Kung meron po kayong sarili ninyo, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, rivera.com, meron ka pong ganyan, no? Uh, I-message lang po kami para ma-validate namin yung correctness ng URL nyo at pwede po nyo gamitin yon with your own Linker store. And then of course, just put your store description. If may logo po kayo, pwede nyo po i-upload dito yung logo. Kung wala po kayong logo, wag mag-alala, meron po kami free logo design services sa loob ng Global Linker. Kami na po gagawa ng logo para sa inyo. Ayan, and then of course, just put your contact details and uh, click the terms and conditions and click next. Pagkatapos niyo po nun, pwede na po kayo magsimula maglagay ng mga produkto. May mga nagtatanong po, pwede ba dalawang libong produkto ilalagay ko? Pwede naman po. In fact, meron po kami upload facility dito. Pamaya, makikita nyo po na pwede kayo mag-upload ng Excel file, nakalista po lahat ng pangalan ng mga produkto ninyo, imamap na lang po natin yung mga pictures later on. So you can put the product name, the selling price, make discount po ba, ano po yung description, may SKU, stock number, threshold po, maganda. Kung malalagyan nyo po ng threshold, ma-advise namin kayo immediately, uh, real time, kung yung number of items o yung stock po ninyo sa web store nyo is enough pa to accommodate new buyers. And then, kung ano po yung category. Yan po. And then, kung meron po kayong, uh, ito po, step number four, I, I was talking kanina po, this is optional because some of our members opted na mag-cash on delivery sila. Kung meron po kayong kailangan ng merchant acquiring o tatanggap po kayo ng credit card, may mga partners po kami na pwede mag-provide sa inyo na service na yon. Right now po, dyan si Paymongo, si Wirecard, and 
even if you have another uh, credit card partner, pwede nyo po kami advisean para makapag-coordinate po kami sa kanila para magamit nyo po sila sa web store namin. And then also, logistics. You can set up logistics inside. Ang partner po namin ngayon, si Quadex, exposed. So pwede nyo po silang gamitin para sila yung magkukuha ng item from your house, deliver. O kung gusto nyo po si Grab Express, pwede rin naman po. Hindi nyo na kailangan iset up yung logistics dito. You can set it up with Grab. And we can advise us and we can uh, coordinate with Grab. For example, kung paano po natin siya ma-integrate sa Linker Store ninyo. Yan. So, bigyan nyo lang po siya ng a few moments and your store will be ready to view. Mamaya, pakita ko po sa inyo. In fact, ito pong step by step na ito ginagawa natin. Kagabi po, ginagawa ko siya at gumawa kami ng store. Test store lang naman. Pero pakita ko po sa inyo resulta mamaya. Yan. So, yan. Pag nag-post na po yung store nyo, ito po, makita nyo yung ating theme editor. Pwede nyo pa pong palitan yung kulay, yung font, palitan po yung mga nakalagay dyan, yung, yung picture, kung gusto nyo pong palitan, pwede pa. Pag uh, kinilik nyo po ito, ito pong icon dito ng cellphone, makikita nyo po kung itsura niya sa mobile phone. Kasi mobile responsive po siya. And then click, ay sorry po, click publish. Publish means malalive na po natin yung store nyo. Pag na-live po yung store, pwede nyo na siya i-share sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram, para po pwede nyo pang ma-share na ma-share yung Uh, bagong gawang store para po sa uh, market. Now, let me see if I can uh, share this one. Teka lang po ah. Uh, bubuksan ko lang po yung bagong gawang website kagabi ito. So ito po yung ginawa namin kagabi. So ang pangalan po niya is Rare Brands. Kung makikita niyo po, ito yung, ito yung theme na pinili namin. And ito pong nasa malaking-malaking picture na ito, nag-scroll po yan. Uh, mabagal lang po ito. Pero nag-scroll po yan. Ilagay ko po muna yung picture ng Control Biz as one of the banner ads. And then you can say, I have jeans, jeggings, joggers, iba-iba po yung mga categories. Let's say, let's go to jeans. Ayan na po. Nag-upload po kami ng mga pictures, ng prices. And kung titignan niyo po dito, kung marami pong variants yung jeans niyo, let's say merong light blue or may blue color, magbabago din po yung picture. So ito po, naka-light blue. Pag tinilik natin yung blue, pati po yung picture pwede magbago. Magiging po yung picture na nilagay nyo na blue color. And then yung, yung consumer po ninyo, pwede nang add to cart or buy now. And then it will follow na po the process. Your consumers can even write a review about your product. Kapag mas marami pong reviews, di ba, mas maganda po yon para sa ibang mga uh, customers na papasok. Pwede rin po silang sumali sa isang uh, newsletter kung gusto nyo po magbigay ng newsletter para po, dito po pumapasok yung CRM natin kasi naglilista na po sila doon sa customer base din nyo. So, ito po, uh, pabalik po ako doon sa slides natin kanina. Ito po. So, ayan. Ito po yung pag-manage ng store. Papakita ko na po. So, doon po sa dashboard ninyo, doon sa homepage ng store ninyo, as the, as the business person po, makikita nyo dito may sales, may inventory, yung online store, yung users, may blogs, and may assistant po kayo. Meron po kayo immediately assistant that you can talk to, mag-Skype kayo, mag-email po kayo, meron po yan. So, sa dashboard, makikita nyo po kung ilan yung umorder, ilan yung orders na ship, ilan yung bayad na po, ilan yung na-cancel, and all those things. Now, if you want to add more products, pwede nyo pong gawin yan dun po sa add products. Dito po, preview store. Kung gusto nyo pong palitan yung kulay ng store nyo, kuwari, Valentine's Day po, gawin natin po lang yung store natin. Pwede po yon. On the fly, pwede nyo pong palit-palitan yung itsura ng store ninyo. Ay, sorry po. Yan, and then you have the quick access shortcuts, etc. Yan, kung, kung gusto nyo pong palitan yung domain name at gusto nyo po ng sariling pangalan nung sa ayaw nyo na po yung .linker.store, pwede nyo rin pong gawin sa loob. Pwede kayo magpalit. Uh, tutulungan po kayo ng technical team namin who will always be there to help. Yan. And ito po, import products. Paano po kung uh, ang hirap naman yan, paisa-isa ako maglalagay ng products? Hindi po. Pwede po kayo mag-import product. Meron pong Excel template that you can download. At pwede nyo pong gamitin yung template na yon uh, Upload nyo lang po siya para automatic, malilista na po lahat. Imamap in na lang po yung mga pictures later on. 
Yan. Uh, CRM, ito po yung sinasabi ko. Pag meron pong mga customers na bumili at meron mga customers na nag-log in, nag-sign up po dun sa, nag-sign in sa store nyo, mamamonitor nyo na po kung sino sila. Ang maganda po dito kasi, makikita nyo, okay, ito pala, malaki, marami na pala siyang binibili sa akin. Padala ko kaya siya ng discount code. Magandang style po yon. Or ito pala, bumili na sa akin sa based on order history, bumili na mga damit na kulay red. Ah, uh, offer ako kaya na pantalon na kulay red. Yeah, mag maganda po 'yun. Yung po yung tinatawag natin na upselling or cross-selling sa mga existing customers natin. Ito po, ang ginawa po namin dito to protect the business and the customers in terms of mga data privacy po. So kumpleto po ito ng mga data privacy, cyber security, lahat po 'yan. Kailangan po namin siguraduhin nasa loob. Kasi po, 'di ba, minsan pag pumunta tayo sa isang store, makita niyo po doon may nakalabas na notebook. Tapos sabi, ilagay niyo po dito yung pangalan niyo, telephone number, email address para po padala namin kay newsletter. Uh, medyo hindi po kasi secure yung ganon. So, ito po, pag online, we have to make sure we are secured. Yan. Tapos meron po kaming assist. Ito po, I'm, I'm showing here my uh, email address, my Facebook account, and my Global Linker account. Kasi mas madali po talaga mag-reply ngayon pagdating sa email, sa Facebook Messenger, or email po ng aming... Uh, Global Linker Assist, info that, at unionbank.globallinker.com. You can always send us a message po mas, para po mabilis kami maka-respond. Uh, ito po isang plus. Kapag nag-sign up po kayo sa, sa Global Linker using our QR or yung link po na sinabi namin, yung unionbank.globallinker.com slash ctrlbiz, bibigay po kami ng libreng e-book. Gumawa po kami ng e-book recently. Uh, about managing the impact of COVID-19 using technology. Ito po ay resulta ng isang online forum uh, and discussion forum na ginawa po namin sa loob ng Global Linker kasama mga members, uh, SMEs, and advisors. Pinagsama-sama po namin yung mga questions and responses at ginawa po namin siya e-book. Uh, maglalabas din po kami ng maraming e-books later on like data privacy. Meron po kami modules on e-commerce. Meron po kami modules on restarting businesses, lahat po yon available for free sa mga members po namin. At syempre, yung e-book po kasi tapos na siya actually, pero ni-revive po namin siya for control biz. So kapag nag-sign na po kayo dyan, makukuha nyo po yung e-book sa email ninyo. Okay. Uh, maraming salamat po. Baka po may mga questions. Hey JP. Uh, this is looking to be a really popular talk. Uh, we've got <laughs> quite a few questions here. So okay. let's start immediately. Uh, we have one from Jim of SM. Uh, mm -hmm. Question for Union Bank. Uh, how fast do you guys approve a new e-commerce partner offering premium rewards for customers, either through direct cards or co-branded cards or wallets? Uh, if we're talking about Union Bank as the bank, there is a accreditation process. Yon. So we have to vet the partner. Uh, the same with po, with the Union Bank Global Linker, although medyo mas mabilis po ng content sa Global Linker, uh, may process po like we review the company, we do, uh, gumagawa rin po kami ng uh, vetting, like the vetting process like credit investigation, background checking with the customers, mga ganun lang po. Uh, although like ang experience ko po sa Global Linker, normally two weeks, matagal lang po yung one month. It depends lang po kung gano ka cooperative yung mga i-chine-check po namin. Alright. Next question from Biahe Subbo. Kailangan po ba meron Union Bank account para maka-register sa Global Linker? Hindi po. Hindi po kailangan. Anyone po can register to Global Linker. That's good to hear. From Tito Junior Madrona. Uh, hello, Sir JPs. Uh, ask ko lang kung separate ba si Global Linker na app kay Union Bank. Yes, ibang app po siya. Meron po kaming sariling Union Bank Global Linker app sa App Store. Kasi po, uh, uh, yung Union Bank online app po, it's about your banking transactions, while Union Bank Global Linker app naman po is about your business and your daily transactions for your business para magkahiwalay po sila. Okay. Question from Romualdo Verdan, uh, RE Global Linker. Can a service provider like a graphic design company join Global Linker? Opo, in fact, madami po kami mga freelancers sa loob ng Global Linker and they also offer their services to our members. Uh, malakas po doon mag-network lalo na ngayon yung mga uh, web designers 
they offer their service po. Sino na raw po ang gagawa ng linker store on behalf of the member? Pwede po yun. Or uh, they will create other services. Pwede po. Anyone can join. Wonderful. Uh, we have a lot of people asking for the contact details of Global Link. Maybe you can post them later? Yes, I will. I'll post it in the chat. Wonderful. Um, Maybe uh, you can post question? it again, JT, as a, uh, sorry. Uh, J you can just uh, post the QR code again later, JT, because I think then people can take a picture. It's much faster. Thank sure. you. Sure, no problem. Thanks, Joel. Uh, all right. Question from Kay Villia. Oh, sorry, Car Carlo. You want me to share share screen it while uh, we are also doing Q&A? Yeah, I think oh, that's wonderful. good. Okay. Yeah. Let me go back to that. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. Na close siya. Ayan. Okay, I will just uh, make it bigger. Nakikita po ba? Uh, let's increase ah. the size. Yeah. Aha, there. Okay. Excellent. So uh, there's the QR code for everyone out there. Another question from Kay Bilia about Global Linker. When signing up with email, can my name and last name be a company name instead? Thanks. Uh, if you are a sole proprietor and normally ginagamit yung pangalan nyo rin sa company name at wala pa po kayong registered business name, pwede naman po yun. Uh, pero we recommend po normally is you use your brand name kung meron po kayong brand ang ginagamit and we really encourage our members to please register also your company in DTI just like si Shopee po and si Lazada. I think they really encourage people to register. I think we have time for uh, three or four more questions. Uh, um, uh, here's another question from Sam. He's uh, full of praise for your uh, paperless banking. Uh, but he's also asking, could you help expedite things like requesting for cards? Unfortunately, we can't transact with other systems without the physical card. Ah, uh, you mean po yung ATM card nyo? Wala pa po sa inyo. Kung yun po yung issue, uh, padala nyo po ako ng message. Uh, let's see what we can help with. Kasi ngayon po, even if naka-COVID, alam ko po nagde-deliver naman po kami ng cards. All right. Question from Wina Flor Bascones. For UB Global Linker, if users prefer a .com, do you assist in purchasing the domain name? And does the domain also expire? Uh, meron po kami partners sa loob that uh, assist for domain names. And they give, I think, po parang 10 to 20% discount po if you are a member of Global Linker. Uh, si GoDaddy po na sa loob, they can help you also with that. Yes. Uh, question from Jan C. Who will show their exposed shipping fee? Uh, ang agreement po doon is the seller can either shoulder it or pass it on. Uh, depende na po yun kung ha, paano nyo po ipopost sa inyong product or sa inyong site yung details po on how the shipping will be. Para po di ba sa Shopee, minsan free na delivery, ibig sabihin po noon, sino shoulder doon siya ng seller. Or kapag hindi po free yung delivery, sa shoulder po siya ng buyer. I see. All right. Question from Atel Vibar. Is this applicable to restaurants where customers can place orders here? How to reach the restaurants? Yes. Opo. In fact, uh, last two weeks ago po ata or three weeks ago, meron po isang malaking restaurant na gumawa ng linker store. Nagulat po kami. Nag-reach out din po siya. At uh, very happy siya. Uh, Ang importante lang po talaga pag restaurant, dahil perishable po, make sure po na palagi nyo tinitignan yung orders sa loob ng store. Kasi po yun, kailangan ma... Uh, tapos, kailangan po ma-deliver agad yung timing ng delivery, especially po kung ilulutuin pa yan. Uh, ginawa din po ng partner restaurant namin is uh, hindi mo na siya nag-avail ng, ng logistics partners namin. Ginamit po na niya si Grab kasi mas mabilis daw po yung Grab eh, pag nag-book siya for food. Maganda daw po yun eh. All right, three last questions yes. uh, from Mira Serrano. Can the website be accessed outside the Philippines and can buyers use a non-Philippines-issued credit card? Yes, uh, yun pong mga pinakita ko kanina partners namin, like for, for example, si Wirecard or si Paymongo, they, I, alam ko po, they can accept. for. So if you are into exporting din po and you're selling outside the country, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, 
best po talaga is talk to the partners namin that can offer you the payment gateway. All right. Question from Wilson Season. Are there any fees involved in setting up an account or website? In Global Linger po, wala. Wala pong related fees. In fact, you can set up your website even wala po kayo account sa Union Bank. Uh, yun po ang prayer ko sana kapag may website na kayo at meron na kayong payment gateway, bukas naman po kayo sana na account sa amin. Mura lang naman po, maliit lang po siya para doon po yung settlement ng mga purchases sa account ninyo. One final question from Joshua Calaustro. Pwede po bang gumawa ng multiple stores? Example, kung gusto kong ihiwala yung service at product. Thanks. Pwede po. Uh, you'll have to have lang po dalawang different email addresses kung saan sila matatag. So mag-sign up po kayo ng isa for your service and sign up po kayo ng another one for your retail products. P pwede naman po yan. Meron po kami members na gumawa po ng ganun. All right. Well, that looks like all of the questions. So okay. thank you very much, JP. Uh, you've been very informative. So uh, we we'll working with you again. Thank, thank you, thank you. Maraming salamat. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is Rome Espino, product owner of QuadX Paylink. So he's here to introduce himself and his company. So Rome, you're up. Hi guys. Audio is good. Everybody can hear me. Reading you five by five. All right, perfect. Okay, again, my name is Rome Espino. I'm from Quadex. Uh, before I start, I'd like to thank Fames International, DTI, ASIC Gene. Uh, what you guys are doing is really awesome. Uh, we appreciate it. And I really hope that we could continue doing uh, similar webinars for everybody. Um, so it's a great thing that you're doing. So keep it up. All right, let's start. Okay, for today, I'm going to show you one of Quadex's products, which is Paylink, and I'll share my screen. All right. Okay, but before that, I'll go and do an intro first for Quadex. Okay, so who we are, we are Quadex and we're in the business of building future pinners. We were launched 2015 and Quadex is an experienced innovation company specializing in digital logistics, last mile deliveries and payment processing. We aim to democratize local entrepreneurship by providing easy to use, non-price prohibitive services to MSMEs, thereby creating jobs for people at the grassroots level. But at the heart of it, at Ito, alam na alam ko because I was with Quadex since day one. I think we're really very much passionate about helping regular business people um, and helping them compete with the big guys. Um, if you talk to our founder and CEO, Dino, that's the, the very thing that he really wanted when we started out this company. He said he's been, when he was with LBC, been traveling all over the, the country and he saw that there were so many great businesses out there, um, people who sold products, but there was something missing. They were limited to the area that they were in. Hindi sila makalabas. Um, so those people selling in Visayas and Mindanao, hindi sila makapenetrate dito sa Maynila. And the same way with Manila sellers, small time ones, very limited yung inikikuta nila. So that's why if you look at the Quadex products, it's all about helping bridge that gap. Um, if you're a small time seller, ang hirap hirap magbenta. So if I'll go through the products and the history of Quadex, and you'll see that we really aspire to to bridge that gap between a small time seller and a big time seller who has unlimited funds. So I'll go through the products that we uh, we offer right now. All right. So shipping cart, we was which is our very very first product for Quadex, was established 2015. Um, providing an initial service of cross-border shipping from the U.S. to the Philippines. 
in a nutshell, para lang siyang balikbayan box pero hindi yung kamag-anak mo yung nag-fill up ng box, ikaw yung nagpupuno ng box. So what we're doing is we're allowing people to purchase anything in the U.S. via online, uh, online stores there. We give you an address and then we consolidate and then papadala namin dito pretty much like a balikbayan box straight to the Philippines. And it's way, way cheaper at so, super bilis. Uh, right now, a lot of people love shipping cart really. And then a year after, we developed Check Me Out, um, again, uh, with the small business people in mind. So it's an integrated multi-payment platform for pickup and delivery for social and casual sellers. So uh, Facebook sellers, Instagram sellers, that's what we targeted. It's a combined uh, platform of payments and delivery. So again, bridging the gap. Um, a year after that, we went to develop Expost, um, which is really for uh, retail websites and marketplaces. Again, mid-layer, uh, bigger volume. That's what Expost caters to. A year after that, since and dami naming mga parcels na deliver, we really wanted to make sure that we give world-class world service um, and we procured um, a, a sorting facility uh, which can process 12,000 packages in an hour and this enables us to move goods faster all over the country. And then 2019, we moved to GoGo and Paylink. Um, GoGo Express took over CMO and then what I will be showing you now is Paylink. So we're doing a pilot testing for this URL-based payment transfer uh, processing service. Okay, and to explain it further, I'm going to go give you um, an intro introduction video. All right. Hi, Rome. Sorry, is there supp supposed to be a sound? Yes. We're, we're not hearing any sound, sorry. Um, I, I think you have to- Okay, let me, sound. let me see. If... You can let me replay that and see if the sound will come out, okay? Still no sound now? Still no sound, Rome. Still no sound. Still no sound. Hmm. You can click on view options at the top. Let's see. Options. And then share computer sound. View options. When you share your screen, there's a green bar at the top. Right. Let's see where that is. I think it's right beside the stop share. And then there's option there. Yeah, working on it now. Let's see. Share computer sound. Yes, share. Yes. All right, let's do that again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> OK, 
okay. Did the sound work now? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. It was just a background music anyway. So, all right. So from that video, guys, um, you'll see all of the things that you can use Paylink for. It's an introduction video. I'll play another one, which will show you how you, you can actually use uh, the system, how you sign up and all of its other features. Okay. All right. So we'll go watch another video. Um, there's no voiceover for this, but you'll pretty much see on each of the slides and each of the pages how you can actually use the service.
Okay. All right. I think we missed something there for the QR code. Anyway. All right. Okay, so video's done. Um, I'd like to go and review what we just saw. Um, as you can see, Paylink is uh, an application that just allows you to send links. Uh, that's a key thing with Paylink. You have a link where you can customize it depending on what you want to single in the buyer. Ninyo. Um, it's very easy to use. You just need to put your email address, your phone number. You get to register. And then from there, you can customize it depending on you can put your business name there, you can put your name there, depending on how you want to use that service. But essentially, it allows you to accept online payments via credit card. It can allow you to transfer money to anybody. Um, use cases will be if I'm a freelancer, um, I do website design, um, I, need, I need to get paid. If people don't want, want to pay you in cash, they say, just hey, can I just use my credit card to, to pay for your service? You can just send them that link via Viber, um, any messaging platform. Uh, you can email it to them if you want, and you can, you can get paid uh, just like that. Um, so here are the other features. What you're seeing now is a, a dashboard so that you get keep track of all the payments that are coming into you. Um, so you'll see it there, and okay, there. Okay, so let's do some questions. I'll stop sharing. Okay, so for any questions regarding PayLink, I'm going to flash uh, our sales heads uh, email and phone number for everybody. Mr. Jet Maranya. That's it. Let's go to our questions. Carlo? All right. Shall we proceed to the Q&A? Sure. All right. So let's see. Um, let's take a look at the list of questions here. All right, uh, question. Does PayLink include a valid SMS or email receipt? Does PayLink include what? A valid, uh, an, a valid SMS or email receipt? Receipt. Yeah, so both the one sending and the one receiving will have a copy of the payment transaction. So technically, yes. And you can use that right. as proof of the payment. Question from Mira Serrano. Uh, for prepayments, can they be easily used by those outside the Philippines? Um, right now, our credit card payments are locked to um, local, local transactions. But we are working on allowing international credit card transactions to be accepted as well. Um, one other thing, Carlo, that I forgot to mention, uh, there's another cool feature that we're offering. It's generating a QR code. Um, so this is for sellers. If you have a, uh, a, an on, a store, a physical store, you can actually have uh, each of your products with a QR code. People can just scan that and pay, pay via whatever 
payment option that they want. So that's another cool feature that Paylink has. All right, thank you. Question from Eric Kalugnan. Do you have an API which can automate payment from our website shopping cart? Uh, good question. Uh, also under development, um, all of our products, we want to have APIs available for those that have systems ready uh, that can accept uh, those integrations. So we are working very hard on having a Paylink API for, for, uh, for, big, for big businesses, yeah. All right. Question from Alvik Drasol. Hi, Quadex. For Paylink online payment, how much is your rate or service charge? Um, right now, we're charging 3.5% uh, on top of whatever amount you put there and a limit of, I think, 100000 per link. I see. Yeah. Uh, from Clarissa Reyes, to clarify, Paylink can accept payments from abroad? Not right now. Um, we do accept credit cards, debit cards, um, and transfers, but only limited locally. All right. Uh, let me see. Um, from Farah Abu, what are the fees to acquire Paylink? The fees, it's absolutely free. Um, you can sign up right now, you go to the paylink.com.ph website, create your account, and we just charge a 3.5% fee on, on transactions. That's it. Question from Josie Azores. Uh, our main business is export. Are you doing this international? Um, again, we, we are working on that, but uh, that, that should be something that uh, will come out really, really soon, yeah. All right. Uh, question from Michael Lopez. Um, are foreign currency transactions allowed within Paylink? And how does currency conversion apply? Again, uh, international transactions are not yet uh, part of our service. All right. Um, so let me see. We operate multiple stores under one company or brand. Will I need to create multiple GL accounts? I remember hearing that unique email addresses need to be done for each branch or pickup point. So they have one company and different branches. So you could have um, multiple accounts um, and then link to, link, to, link to a mother account. All right. A uh, question from May Michelena Cruz. How does Paylink compare with Gcash? Um, we work under the same concept of transferring uh, money uh, from credit cards and from a, a wallet system, pretty much the same. Um, I guess it's just a different brand, a different, uh, different um, provider, that's it. All right, uh, let's see. Other questions? Ah, uh, Rome, what categories of products are popular from, uh, from you? This is from Jim of SM. What, what, what categories of products are popular from you? What categories of products? I think the, the most popular product that we have for Quadex is really shipping cart. Um, next to that would be GoGo Express. So those are two flagship products for, for our company. Um, and hopefully Paylink will also be the third one. All right. Um, oh, more specifically, um, from US and UK to Philippine shipping and vice versa, which products often get shipped on those routes? Which products get shipped? So we yeah. both have the shipping cart UK and shipping cart US. So we, we, we cater to, to both countries. So that means you all can right. shop in the UK, shop in the US, and it'll all get, get delivered here in the Philippines. Uh, which products are popular on those routes? Which, which products? Uh, makeup, I guess. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> a lot of women shoppers, um, they couldn't find uh, the products here locally. So you'll see that um, electronics, makeup, uh, gadgets uh, are the most common um, stuff shipped from the US and the UK uh, back home here. Thanks. Question from Kay Villia. Uh, are PayLink e receipts acceptable by the BIR? Is PayLink acceptable by BIR? The e receipts. The e receipts, yeah. Um, I think we're one of the few companies that actually have um, a, a recognized receipt billing by BIR. So, correct. Um, yeah, we just have. I, I think there's only two companies right now that have that, but we have our own e-receipt uh, certified by BIR. Nice. Yeah. Question from Tina Ledesma. Uh, how much will it cost to use PayLink? Um, to use it, absolutely free. Um, if you're going to send money, we just re uh, put 3.5% put on top of um, the money that you're sending out. All so right. that's the only charge that we're going to take away. Question from Alberto Phoenix. Um, he's asking about different user roles to manage the account, such as admin, invoice maker, payment received. Uh, what can you say about that? Um, hmm. So I, I'd say that PayLink right now is a very, very, as much as possible, we simplified everything for everyone. Um, so there's really not much of user-based or role-based uh, uh, specif specifications in the system. So it's more of a, a flat rule that applies to everybody. Um, but the more users we get, and depending on how we see their needs to be, uh, then we will improve the system as, mu as much as we can. I think he's asking for uh, business level, type of user roles where mas, mas, uh, complex yung rule set. So not yet, not yet there, but uh, as we grow our user base and we see that there's a need for more complex uh, uh, rule sets for different roles, then we will add them on. All right. Uh, we're getting requests to please post your contact info in the chat box so they can copy and paste. Sure, um, I will. I will post that. All right. So thank you very much, Rom. So uh, you're welcome. We've learned a lot today. Again, right. thank so, you for inviting us. Thank you for being part of our By Any Hand Spirit, ladies and gentlemen. Our next speaker is uh, actually a friend of mine. He is Petrus Carbonell, Business Development Head of Lazada, and here he is now. Hi, Pets. Hi, Carlo. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you, Sir Thames. Thank you, Sir DTI. Salamat sa mga uh, lahat ng nakapag imbita dito and naka nagtumadalaw at nakikibahagi sa ating programa ngayong hapon. Uh, narinig nyo ba ako? Check lang. I hear you loud and clear, and your video okay. is good. Very good. Okay. Um, Ngayong hapon, no, uh, subukan namin na sagutin yung mga katanungan na uh, binigay sa amin nung previous sessions. Uh, at the same time, gusto po namin ipakilala si Lazada. And uh, hopefully, maingga niyo po, po kayong lahat para uh, simulan ang inyong online journey. So, I will share the screen. Ayan. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, so good afternoon, everybody. At Lazada, sabi namin, uh, we're trying to make selling simple. And at any point, gusto niyo pong uh, to start your journey with Lazada, uh, may QR code dito sa part ng screen. Yeah, tama ba yung pinipindot ko? Ayan. At uh, you can click on that anytime, take a picture, and the diretso na po kayo sa mga sign-up page namin. Uh, marami pong katanungan doon, masasagot din doon. Uh, pero kahit anong mangyari, you can always take it. Sa lahat ng slides, nandiyan din yung QR code. Now, sino po ba si Lazada? Kami po ay isang e-commerce platform. At ang layunin po namin ay pag-ugnayin uh, ang mga buyers at mga sellers. 
Uh, maraming tanong in the past sessions, no? paano ba yung customer base? Ano ba yung distribution? Uh, at uh, ito po ay 59% uh, kababaihan, 41% po na mga lalaki. So nakikita po natin na ito ay uh, trend na has been very, uh, I mean, it has been there since yung start of ECQ. And even during ECQ, nandyan pa rin yung trend na yan. And our buyers, nasan po sila? Nasa cellphone. They are using cellphone and mobile, number one po yan. And Lazada, uh, we are saying that we are the leading e-commerce uh, platform in the whole Philippines. And ano po ba yung makukuha niyo sa Lazada bilang mga neg negosyo? So meron po kaming high site and traffic. Marami po tayong nakukuhang buyers. Ibig sabihin po sa, para sa mga MSME, mga possible na uh, bibili ng mga produkto nyo. Pangalawa po ay meron po kaming strong social media, meaning po sa mga Facebook, Twitter, at uh, Instagram. Meron po kaming strong presence doon. Uh, makikita nyo po kami doon, very active kami. Araw-araw meron po kaming mga post. At uh, maganda po ito kasi kami na po ang bahala para to bring and gather lahat ng mga possible na uh, mga possible na buyers nyo onto the site ng Lazada sa app. And we are one of the top 10 sites of the Philippines. So besides social media, Google and mga content, mga YouTube, ganyan, we're actually uh, one of the top 10 na pinupuntahan ng mga tao. So pagkatapos mong mag-post, uh, manood ng mga video, uh, makipag-usap sa mga kaibigan, one of the things na ginagawa po ng mga customers natin is to go online and shop. So ano po ibig sabihin yan? No? Uh, when you start, want to start your online journey, ano yung mga uh, challenges natin locally in the Philippines. So, tatlo po yung nakikita namin na biggest challenges. Which number one is payment. So, most online retailers prefer to have prepayment that hassles a lot of potential customers. Big sabihin, uh, at kung ikaw ay isang negosyo, pan, ang question ko dyan is, paano ko ba babayaran? Pangalawa, logistics. Paano ko ipapadala yung mga produkto ko dun sa, kanil, sa ating mga customer? And then, holy equality. Kasi customers, they want to have trust. Ibig sabihin, they want, nakakasiguro sila dun sa kanilang bibilhin. And for Lazada, uh, since we've been here for the past eight years and more, this, these are things that we have uh, solved and are trying to solve and improving and continuing to solve habang uh, nandito po tayo sa Pilipinas. So easy payment. For the customer, uh, we have in, uh, allowed cash on delivery, e-wallet, and pagdating po sa, uh, ba, sa, sa seller, kayo po yun, sa mga MSME, uh, didiretso na po namin yun sa bank account ninyo. So logistics, marami kami options na pwede nyo pagpilian. Uh, pwede ngayon ay open na ang uh, delivered by seller. Ibig sabihin kayo pwede mag-deliver. Open na rin po sa amin na kami yung mag-pick up from your warehouse at didiretso na po namin yan sa customer. And quality. So may mga standards po kami, rules and regulations sa security ng ating mga customer, security ng ating mga seller. And yung products po natin makarating yan in a good and high quality. So, um, bibilisan lang natin kasi what we have 30 minutes, no? And what we are trying to do is to help everybody, lahat po namang MSME, to grow more with Lazada. So, kami po ay uh, uunlad, lalaki, kung kayo po ay lalaki rin. So, your growth is our growth. So that's why we are inviting all of you to uh, join Lazada. Ngayon, uh, one of the things that tinatanong sa akin, and I saw the questions before, paano during quarantine and after quarantine? Relevant pa ba to? Is this a trend that's going to happen? Yes. And that is why uh, we have enabled some uh, procedures and systems para kayo ay makapag-operate safely from home. The goods will be delivered with utmost care. And Doon po sa aming warehouse, sa aming mga uh, delivery partners, sa aming mga employees, customers, at mga partners, at mga sellers, we have uh, precautions implemented. So may mga regular disinfection para end-to-end, -end, safe po tayo lahat. And the products po will be delivered directly to the customer shopping and safely at home. So very important po natin sa atin ang safety. And we think that e-commerce is one of the ways where MSMEs can continue to do business and 
at eventually bounce back from whatever's happening around. So madali lang po mag-register, no? So if you are not you do not have a, an account yet, wala pa kayong account, madali lang 'yan. Fast, easy, scan niyo lang ang QR code or pumunta kayo sa Celon Lazada PH. At may, uh, very important po, uh, libre. So sa DTI po, parating sinasabi natin ang programs ay libre ang onboarding, libre ang training, at toto po yan. Libre po, walang bayad ang mag-sign up at magkaroon ng account sa Lazada. At napakadali lang yan. So ano ba, ano ba yung mga benepisyo at uh, na makukuha natin sa Lazada habang ito yung may reboot tayo na tinatawag? No, seller incubation. So sa madaling salita, once na nag-sign up kayo, may tutulong na magsimula. At ang pagtulong namin ay hands-on. May mga tatawag sa inyo, uh, may mga uh, agents po kami, may isang malaking team po kami para makatulong sa mga gustong mag-sign up on Lazada. So in the first 90 days, tatlong buwan, meron pong tatawag sa inyo, mag-guide sa inyo, at dun sa inyong mga email, sa inyong mga cellphone, may mag-text sa inyo, at lahat po ng ways para makatulong ay nandyan po. So, sa mga wala pang experience na mag-e-commerce, wala pa experience na mag-online, na magbenta, wala pong problema yan. Madali lang po magsimula. At ito po ay one of the ways na makakatulong kami using our Seller Center account. Yan po ang ating master dashboard. Ibig sabihin, dyan lang kayo titingin, yan lang ang titingnan nyo, makakapag-operate na kayo from uh, on Lazada. So lahat ng kailangan nyo nasa isang lugar na. Yan po ang seller center. Kaya pinadali po natin ang proseso ng pagbebenta at lahat po ng may kailangan doon. Kailangan nyo mag-upload ng products, kailangan nyo makita yung mga order nyo, at uh, ano gusto nyo mag-promotions, nandyan din yun. If gusto nyo pagandahin yung store nyo, mga design, nandun din po sa seller center yun. So wala na po kayo masyadong titignan. Uh, hindi na kayo lilipat-lipat-lipat ng, uh, ng mga site. Uh, or magkiklik kayo sa maraming mga areas. Pero uh, titignan nyo lang yung seller center. Ngayon, pagka meron pa kayong in-depth learning na gusto, meron po kaming Lazada University. Ang Lazada University ay libre. So, magmula sa pinaka-basic na mga aaralin tulad ng getting started, paano ba mag-fulfill, uh, ano ba yung mga kailangan, ano yung mga basic na kailangan, libre po yan. Hanggang doon sa medyo mas Advance na ng mga topics na paano mag-grow. Ano yung mga uh, kailangan tandaan para ma-optimize o pagalingin ng ating operations. At higit sa lahat, kung gusto ko na maging advanced, pupunta ako maging LASMOL. Uh, gusto ko na mag-engage uh, ng customers ko in a more advanced way na gamit ang live stream. Meron din pong uh, tutorial yan on Lazada. All you need to do is sign up today and libre na po yung lahat ng materials para sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po, uh, campaigns. So maraming tanong sa akin dito uh, in the past uh, session. Libre ba mag-join uh, ng campaign? Yes. Ang pagsali po ng campaign ay libre. And napakalaking tulong po nito para sa ating mga uh, both mam mamimili at nagbebenta. So this 5-5, five -five, uh, maplug ko lang ng konti, we are already starting to run a campaign na we call bounce back sale. And the idea here is actually para makatulong sa mga uh, negosyo na kunyari meron silang mga items na na natenga diyan sa warehouse o na ipet somewhere meron na merong option na sila to go back and sell their items. So we are trying to get all the sellers and all the buyers together in all these campaigns. So yan po ang uh, reason namin para gumawa ng mga sale para makatulong po sa ating mga sellers na makabenta ng mas marami. At kayo po, no, ito yung isang, mga, isang tanong na nakita ko from the past session. Uh, ako yung isang bagong seller. Uh, meron po ba akong chance na to stand out at ma-differentiate sarili ko? Ang sagot po dyan ay opo. Maraming visibility, may ways na maging visible kayo. So, in your first 90 days, sa so unang tatlong buwan ninyo, marami kayong mga uh, beneficyo na makukuha. So if a feature po namin isa-isa yung inyong mga brand at inyong mga uh, mga tindahan at magiging part po kayo ng lahat ng available campaigns for new sellers and old sellers alike. 
So in this time, in your first 90 days, you will be able to get the benefits and be able to make your store uh, known to your customers and engage them. So hindi nyo, hindi, wag nyo pong problemahin yun na pagdating sa Lazada, baka naman hindi yung makabenta, hindi yung mapansin. Hindi po, malaki ang pagkakataon, lalong-lalo na ngayon. And in cooperation po with uh, various partners, kasama na po ng gobyerno through DTI, we have a lot of campaigns and we have a lot of ways that you can reach your customers. So this is just one of the ways. And ang tools po, meron po kaming tools na nakahanda para sa inyong lahat, para sa mga uh, new sellers natin, na mag maaari niyong gamitin. Besides yung tutorials po, meron po kaming mga tools na pwede niyong gamitin. At lahat po ng uh, ginagawa niyo offline, itatranslate niyo lang po yun to go online. So to halimbawa ang store builder, uh, kailangan niyo magtayo ng tindahan. Ganun din po online, i-design niyo yan. Uh, lalagyan niyo ng uh, mga graphics para maging appealing siya sa ating mga customers. So instant messaging, kailangan sagutin ng mga customers. Uh, meron din po kaming tools sa ganyan. And promotions, of course, kailangan natin ipakita sa mga customers na worthwhile na bumili sa atin. And then, meron kaming lorry kit para makatulong sa paano ilalagay, ano yung i-upload, ano po yung kailangan description, and lastly po, seller picks. So, sa site po, makikita natin na iba-ibo po yung mga items at million-million ng mga assortment natin on the platform. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala. If you use these tools wisely, you will be sure to be able to connect with your customers. And for those na uh, still meron pa rin mga agam-agam, no? uh, meron po kami tinatawag na service marketplace. At itong service marketplace na ito ay nakahanda para sa inyong tindahan. Yan po, uh, very wide array of services na pwede nyo i-avail. So from store design to designing your product page, uh, customer service, uh, pagsagot ng chat o uh, kausapin ng mga sellers kung may mga concern sila, uh, finance, baka gusto nyo ipagawa yung mga uh, reports nyo, and also pati pag-file ng mga tax. These are part of the services when you go online that we offer for our uh, sellers. Now, ngayon, kung talagang uh, tingin nyo malaki yung negosyo nyo, or gusto nyo magsimula na um, uh, may partners kayong iba, nag-atubili nag, uh, pa rin kayo, you can always tap mga Lazada partners. These Lazada partners are there to cover a various uh, array of services. So, account management, meaning kakausapin kayo, kakausapin si Lazada, pwede nilang pagawa yan. Marketing support, uh, gusto nyo magkaroon ng uh, marketing, online marketing, uh, papagawa sa kanila, pwede rin yun. Uh, content localization, ibig sabihin, uh, yung mga existing yun na mga graphics, existing yun na mga marketing materials, gusto nyo na maging malocalize para dun sa Lazada, gagawin din po yun yung mga Lazada partners. Uh, visual merchandising, yung mga products po natin, uh, papaganda yun, take a picture, upload, and look at the content, and uh, lagay ang description, pwede na nilang gawa, gawin yun para sa inyo. At ang customer service, um, mostly chat, uh, pwede rin silang makipag-usap and uh, do a, a variety of ways for you. Uh, talking about returns, that is one of the things that uh, Lazada partners can do. Chat support, yan, uh, one of the things that uh, kailangan. So, uh, the message is, kahit anong kailangan ninyo, uh, we are ready to serve every kind of business, small, medium, and big. But most of all po, ang puso namin ay malakas din sa lahat. And we are particularly helping the medium and the micro, small and medium enterprises to be able to do uh, online business. Now, another question that has always been asked me, ano yung mga seller basics? So maraming mga questions yan, baka uh, so that uh, I can be able to answer. And then after this session, the Q&A will reward mga items na needs clarification or perhaps mga items na uh, hindi ko pa nalalagay dito sa aking presentation. So seller types, no? Ano bang klaseng seller ang pwede para punta ng Lazada? So pwede ako maging Lazmol na yan po ang mga branded na items and mga verified items. You want to put them on Lazmol. So kunyari gusto kayo isang gusto maging official brand or official distributor, Pwedeng-pwede po kayo mag-last mall. And meron kayong mga campaigns sa talagang last mall lang. 
And even on the app, you will be able to have a icon there in a part there that is exclusively para sa last month. And you also have a benefit na higher ranking sa search. So, pag may mga items na, na kaparehas kayo, kung kayo ay last month at yung kalaban nyo hindi, may advantage po yun na nasa last month kayo. And ano, um, additional seller tools and services. Meron din additional si last month. And commission only when you sell. So, lahat po ng mga charges na Lazada will only be taken if nakabenta kayo. Kung wala kayong benta, wala po kaming kukunin from you. So, Madali lang po ngayon. If you want to sign up now, walang problema. There's no risk in signing up. Uh, zero pesos ang, ano, ang pag-sign uh, up lang at magkaroon ng account. Now, Lazada Marketplace, yan po ay ang aming uh, uh, way so that sellers na nasa Pilipinas ay makapagbenta na. At yan po, mas maliit yung mga fees. Zero percent commission and marami po rin kayong, uh, access, may access po kayo to all our seller tools and services. Now, what are the requirements to go online with Lazada? So if you are going to become a Lazada seller uh, na corporate, madali lang po yan. So BIR2303 or yung COR nyo, yung DTI or SEC permit, yung business permit nyo, yung sales invoice, bank account details, and bank information docs. Of course, yung mga Unang apat ay unang tatlo ay norm, ay unang apat normal na po 'yan. Pero ang bank account ay required kasi hindi namin kayo mababayaran pagka wala kayong bank account. Ang mode of payment po natin is online. We will uh, send it to your account after verification and na complete na yung inyong mga benta. Now, there are some na who want to start as an individual. Lalong-lalo na po yung mga micro at mga small enterprises. So sometimes uh, uh, they want to start na uh, agad-agad. No? So we provide them an, uh, a sandbox or a place na pwede silang magsimula agad via the individual approach. Ang kailangan nyo lang is valid government ID na issued ng sino man yung may-ari. And of course, bank account details para pwede po kayong ano, uh, para pwede po kayong mabayaran. Of course, gusto po natin yun, mabayaran tayo. Commission and service fee. So ito, uh, lots of questions uh, revolving around here. So very simply, if you're a last small account, you get the 5% commission plus 2% service fee and the 24.24% dyan po ay VAT. For corporate po, walang commission pero may service fee. For an individual, so since maging uh, part kayo ng isang partner namin at sila po ang magta-take care of yung mga uh, uh, documentary requirements niyo, yan po ay may additional na 1%. So for a total of 3.24%. So ito po yung mga service fees na once I sign up kayo. But signing up again, I would like to reiterate this, signing up is free. Having an account on Lazada is free uh, and you can, it will only be charged pag may benta na kayo. Now, a lot of the questions are always revolving around shipping. So at Lazada, we are enabling all our sellers and buyers to have a mode of all modes of shipping para dumating ang mga produkto nyo sa mga uh, inyong mga customer. So meron po kaming option na fulfilled by Lazada wherein kami po ang mag-warehouse ng mga products nyo. Tapos ang problemahin nyo, i-deliver na lang doon. And kami na po ang mag-fulfill hanggang sa dulo doon sa kanyang mga customer. Drop shipping, ito po yung... Uh, one of the most popular ways. Ibig sabihin po niyan, magmula sa warehouse ninyo, pipick upin namin yung item, and kami na po bahalad also to deliver directly po sa mga customers ninyo. And third is drop-off. Drop-off is ito po yung may mga drop-off points kami. Uh, may mga partners kami na retail establishments mostly and others. Or meron ko po yung mga ibang merchants na drop-off points din sila. May mga products nyo and yung mga parcels will be, kayo po as a seller, you will drop it off there we pick up in namin from there and we will deliver to the customer. And if you have your own fleet or kung meron po kayong kakayahan na mag-deliver ng sarili ninyo, pwede niyo naman pong gawin yun via our program na tawag na seller own fleet or delivered by seller. So, fresh and frozen goods, for example, uh, pwede na po yan on Lazada. So, before po, uh, very limited yung capability namin to do this, but now we're opening it in up to everyone. So, kung kayo po ay isang restaurant, Kung kayo po ay isang uh, service entity, 
kung kayo po ay uh, nag construction for example may question diyan na kaya niyo mag-deliver on your own or mga appliances for example so all these businesses and many more if you have your own pit and you can deliver on your own or if you want to use a third party uh, third party logistics uh, papadaan niyo sa mga uh, ibang company tulad ng Grab, Lala Move, pwede rin po 'yan. So ito po ay uh, one of the ways and all these four options po are available to all our sellers. So all you have to do is again, click on the QR code or take a picture of the QR code, go to uh, Selon Lazada and start your journey there. So may mga step by step na instructions naman po doon. So again, uh, this one, official packaging. So if you've ever bought on Lazada, nakabili na kayo, all our shipments come in uh, official pouches and boxes. Why? This is for consistency po ng experience ng customers natin. And to ensure that uh, security of the parcels will come there. So pag kailangan dumating sa customers yan, naka-seal. Kaya mga pouches namin and boxes are all sealed. Pagating sa inyo. So if you're interested, this... Uh, link at the bottom, pwede niyong tignan po dyan ang mga prices at saka mga available packaging for everyone. So I got a lot of questions in the previous session na parang saan namin kukunin yung packaging, magkano yan. Meron pong link dito sa baba. Pwede niyong i-click yan and uh, you, will be able, you will be directed to a page that will be have all of this information. And lastly po, one of the most important things para sa atin lahat is paano ako mababayaran? So, of course, as uh, negosyante, micro, small, medium, um, large businesses, everybody needs to and wants to get paid. And that's why for us, it's uh, very fast ang pagbabayad. And for those who are interested, ang payout schedule po namin, kadalasan po ay Thursday. So, beside yung first na verification, na, so may mga two, two weeks po na verification or a little bit more, Pagkatapos po nun, mababayaran kayo every week. So lahat po ng mga benta nyo in the past week until Sunday, babayaran po na namin yan in this coming Thursday. So ang concern po natin kung cash flow ang pinag-uusapan, very fast po ang uh, third around time natin. And that is one of the ways that we are helping all our sellers to, uh, to do business. Kasi cash flow is also one of the biggest concerns. And I think uh, in the past session, I got at least mga five to six uh, questions about this because the concern was, paano naman kami? Uh, is it going to take a month before I get paid? No. We are we have a term na every week may payouts na lalabas. And automated na po yung aming uh, mga system para makita nyo yung mga invoice nyo, makita nyo po yung mga uh, statement of account. Every week po yan in real time lumalabas po yan on the Seller Center app. Again, you only have to look at your seller center at yun na po yung one-stop portal namin for all our sellers. So, uh, to end, no, uh, I'd just like to share a message of uh, hope and something encouraging. Because back in 2012, we had a seller, no, na ito yung warehouse niya. In 2019, ito na yung bago niyang warehouse. They started with a very small uh, warehouse at 600. And hindi, man, hindi man maliit. Meron siyang warehouse. 600 meter, square meters, 10 staff, 30 orders per day. And today, 1,500 square meters, 75 staff, 1,000 orders per day. Seven years lang at ang laki na ng uh, improvement ng kanyang negosyo. And I would like to invite everybody to start their online journey now. And I'm very thankful sa DTI, sa gobyerno natin, uh, sa mga partners natin sa TEMS, uh, Wonderman Thompson, and for all the partners here who are trying to help all our MSMEs go online. Because this is the success story that we want to encourage everyone with. These are the success stories that we would like to share. And hopefully, everybody who's listening now will also be some of these success stories in the future. So for me, no, I've been with Lazada, and um, I have seen a lot of uh, sellers turn... Uh, some of them millionaires. Some of them are very successful businesses right now. And all of them are taking their businesses online. And pag nakakausap ko sila, it's a, 
very encouraging. So parang tutuwa ako and I keep doing this every day because I can see all the MSMEs, especially, going online and making a successful business. So again, to end, no, I will just leave this here with you. Uh, start your journey now. Yan po ang best na masasabi ko. Registration is fast, easy, and free. So sa Tagalog po, mabilis, madali, at libre. Kaya magsimula na. Uh, yung ating... Uh, uh, kung gusto nyo magsimula, meron ng link sa baba at may QR code po dun sa taas para pwede nyo nung i-click agad. Or kung gusto nyo po ng mas maraming uh, questions, ay mas maraming mga katanungan, may meron pa kayo katanungan na hindi masasagot ngayon, meron po kaming uh, mga Lazada teammates na nandyan po sa background sumasagot ang type ng mga sagot. Besides that, you can also email me at petrus.carbonel at lazada.com.ph and you can ask any question and we will try to help you as best as we can. Now, uh, before I end, I would like to invite everyone to help our uh, Filipino entrepreneurs because we have our bounce back sale happening on May 3 to 5, 5-5. Five, five. So this po is made in mind especially for, for our sellers. So this bounce back sale is for our sellers and to be able to restart their business and reboot their business. This is not the last campaign that we will do. And this will be, we will continue to do all our part and do all our efforts to help the Philippine economy uh, reboot and bounce back. With that, uh, thank you very much. I hope we have a little bit more time for questions. Is that okay, Carlo? Thanks, Matt. I'll leave yes, this, uh, we do have uh, three or four minutes for questions, and there's quite a few here. Okay. All right. So let's see. This one is from. Uh, uh, this one is actually from Asik Jin. Uh, if I am an online seller and I'd like to ask for help from Lazada Partners, my bayad? For Lazada Partners po, yes. Uh, Iba-iba po yung charging nila. You have to ask each and every one of them. You can approach me. to We can introduce you to the different uh, Lazada Partners. Um, but uh, Lazada itself has uh, already programs and systems to help the existing and new sellers. So whatever you think is bagay sa inyong mga negosyo, no problem, uh, just approach us. The, my email is there. You can go to the links or you can ask uh, the team who is there in the background to help you out. All right. Uh, question from Aaron Peralta. Uh, Please discuss the feasibility of selling freshly baked food products with a short shelf life through Lazada. Thank you. So for my shelf, uh, short shelf life, so ang, uh, preferred natin a way of uh, fulfilling will be yung fourth option sa delivery, which is delivered by seller or seller on fleet. So you can use mga third-party items. So the advantage for you there, or for example, bakery, is that you will get exposure. So exposure on the app will be will be will give you a wide range of audience and uh, different kinds of uh, uh, people who will be able to interact. So we will give you the customers and then fulfillment for especially for mga fresh and frozen and mga bakery items like what you're mentioning will all be uh, care of you, which is uh, the delivered by seller or seller on feed program. So yun yung uh, suggested way ko of uh, approaching this. All right. Um, we're getting requests to uh, put your QR code closer to the center of the screen. It's being blocked by parts of the interface. Uh, maybe on one of your previous slides with the bigger one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hold on. There. Is that better? Ah, yes, that will help. All right. Uh, we have a question from a Facebook user, Doris Dal Gio Teo Tugunun. Uh, can you please go into further detail about the difference between LASMOL and corporate? Okay, uh, Doris, thank you for that question. So, uh, LASMOL and the LASMOL and corporate are both options if you want to uh, start on Lazada. So, being a LASMOL seller, there are advantages there. So, first and foremost, uh, as the search, you had advantage on search. 
you have an additional tools, and there are campaigns and uh, modules that are specifically just for LASMOL. Now, LASMOL will just entail an additional 5% commission. So that's the difference. If you're a corporate account, you don't have to pay this commission fee, but uh, you do not have that, those specific advantages of LASMOL. So those are th that's the main difference of being a LASMOL seller. All right. Uh, we have time for one last question uh, from Fat De Santa. Is it required to have a DTI permit to be able to sign up? So okay, thank you so much for that. Um, so if there's so if this is the last question, no, uh, there are there's the team right there who's answering uh, offline. Uh, don't hesitate to still keep on asking your questions, and DTI will also give us the questions. We'll try to get back to you in a uh, timely manner. Now, to answer the question, uh, yes, everything na kailangan po, if you're going to set up an account offline, all the rules and regulations are the same. So whatever you need uh, offline, it's still the same as when you go online. So what we're trying to do is to give options for those who are offline to go online. All right. So I think that covers everything. So thank you so much, Pets. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, guys. I was happy to be here. All right. And so we move on for what I believe is our last talk of the day. So those of you who are curious about e-payments, uh, this is your moment. We have Jet Marania, Head of Sales and Acquisition for QuadX GoGo Express. So Jet, you're up. Thank you, Carlo. Let me just share my screen lang. Okay. Kita na po yung screen ko. Just check in lang po and pati po yung audio, yung audio ko po, Sir Carlo. Your audio is good and we see your slides. All right. All right, magandang hapon sa ating lahat, mga kapatid. Okay? So, uh, before anything else, bago po mag-start, I would like to uh, congratulate and say thank you uh, to Ma'am uh, Asek Jean Pacheco po para sa pag-invite po sa Quadex dito po sa ating webinar. Uh, at for sure, marami po tayong matutulungan kasi ang dami po mga Pilipino na nagtatanong ano yung mga pwede nating way or uh, para kumita tayo ng pera sa loob lang ng bahay. Okay? Also, uh, sana din po sa mga online viewers po natin, especially sa Facebook po natin. Uh, hindi po sana kami tulog kung maaari pong i-like at i-share po natin itong video na to para po may matulungan pa po tayo mga Pilipinong entrepreneur. Okay. So again, so we're, we are Quadex. So we're in the business of building entrepreneurs. So basically, Quadex is an experience innovation company. What we do is we enable or we provide tools to startup entrepreneurs and those established entrepreneurs din po. Okay? So at the same time, we provide jobs din po such as mga riders for our community. So quick background lang regarding Quadex kasi I see upon the previous webinars, marami pong questions who is Quadex. So here it is na po. So here in Quadex, we have a Philippine office po which is located in Makati. Then we have two offices din po sa Singapore and sa United, sa United Kingdom and sa United States. We have uh, 21 own hubs po dito sa Philippines with uh, 20 community hubs. And so far, meron din po tayong um, automated sorting machine. Okay. Okay, then we also have a rider pool of 4,500, okay? Now, which we call it the Kaberk Spot. Okay, so for our services in Quadex, uh, what we do is the first one is for shipping cart. Okay, so for shipping cart, this is our cross-border platform. So basically, for Filipinos po na gustong mag-purchase, so any USA websites and any UK websites, okay, we can guarantee you at least competitive rates in terms of shipping fees po on the Philippines. So what will happen is we'll provide you our warehouse address po dito kay shipping cart. Yun po yung gagamitin nyo sa mga websites po na pang purchase. What will happen is pag napunta na po yung item sa warehouse po natin dito po kay shipping cart, we take a picture of it and send it to your email for confirmation. Then we ship it diretso na po dito sa Philippines door 
door. Okay, so for Expos and GoGo Express, so we're inviting po mga businesses who requires uh, logistics requirement pa or uh, mag-start pa lang po ng business that requires uh, payments at the same time COD and logistics. This tries out po. Then for PayLink naman po is for those sellers or freelancers po na wala pa pong credit card facility and online bank gusto nyo pong i-offer sa customer po ninyo, please use PayLink. So, okay, so for this afternoon po, I would like to focus na po sana uh, for GoGo Express. So basically for GoGo Express, sino po ito? GoGo Express is your online payment and delivery body. Okay? So basically what we do is GoGo Express and offer na po cash on delivery at the same time the uh, pick up and delivery na rin po. Okay. So for those po na gustong gumamit po ng GoGo Express, you can just scan lang po yung code po natin nandito po siya sa right po. Or you must mobilize voice, you can download app uh, via um, Apple po or uh, via Google Play. Okay. So bakit ako sasali sa Google Express? So ano yung benefits ko na makukuha? So for isang seller na nagbebenta sa online, importante sa atin ang dashboard na we're in makikita natin lahat o ka-capture yung mga orders natin or yung reports at mada-download natin. The next thing is, importante din sa akin na pwede ako mag-run ng promotion, pwede kong itago yung mga presyo na gusto kong uh, ilabas sa binibenta ko. Okay? The next thing is, importante din sa akin na meron akong tracking tool na wherein pwede ko siyang i-present sa customer ko para malaman nila kung nasa na yung updates at status ng produkto nila. Okay? For the buyer convenience naman po or sa mga umili sa akin, Importante ang cash on delivery. Yun naman ang behavior ng Filipino po sa atin. Okay? Magilig po tayong pumunta sa mall, suotin ang produkto, okay? Then tsaka po natin siya bayaran up front. Pag sa online selling po natin, importante na ma-feel po nila at least yung pouch po muna para masabi nilang ito yung binili nilang produkto. Okay? So that's for the cash on delivery. Okay? For creating an account kay GoGo Express, simply it's free lang po siya. You just go, uh, visit lang po GoGo Express or again, download lang po yung app. Provide nyo lang po yung first name, last name nyo po, yung email address and your mobile number and your password and meron ka na pong GoGo Express account. Okay. So, bakit ko pipiliin si GoGo Express? Ako as a seller, lagi itong hinihingi sa akin. Importante ang cash on delivery sa isang seller na nagbebenta online. Ang good news with GoGo Express wala po tayong charges sa cash on delivery po. Tama po, libre lang po yan. Okay? In terms of delivery rate po natin, it's only 120 pesos. Ang good news pa po kay GoGo Express, pag ginamit nyo po kami, meron pong rebate pag ang delivery nyo po ay late. Okay. So, ito po ang aming presyo. Okay? So, the good news po dito is libre po ang pouch kay GoGo Express. Wala po kayong babayaran. Okay? So, para po makontinue yung growth ng company, at masuportahan po natin yung mga riders po natin, ito po yung price. So lahat ng NCR to NCR transaction po is 120 pesos. Okay, NCR outside of NCR naman po, provincial transaction is 170. Then meron din po kaming partner, LBC Express po, na pwede po kayong mag-drop off for only 150 pesos. Okay, then ang charge lang po natin for the valuation fee or insurance is 1% or 15 pesos, whichever is higher sa declared nyo po na price. Okay? Then again, yung cash on delivery po natin is libre. And yung RTS po natin. So there are two ways for you to use GoGo Express. Okay, number one is book a delivery. So basically, ito lang po yung pick up and delivery. The next one naman po is yung create an order link po. Na pwede rin po kayo mag-offer ng cash on delivery. So ito po ang procedure. So, how to book a delivery? So, number one, very simple lang po. Kailangan nyo lang po i-provide item name at ang item price. The second one naman po is you need to provide kung saan siya pipick up in ni rider. Okay? So, kailangan po yung street address, maayos, yung provincia kung saan, city, barangay, sender's name po or yung business name po at yung mobile number para makoordinate po kayo ng ride po namin. Pangatlo, you just have to click lang po yung yes option. Okay, then proceed po ko number four para maklik lang po or makita lang po yung review or summary ng transaction na in-upload nyo po. Then for number five, confirm nyo lang po or book now. 
Yung pangalawang proseso natin to upload kay, kay Gogo Express is how to create an order link. Ito po siya. Okay, so number one, provide lang po ulit yung item name at yung item price. Number two, again, yung kusan po siya pipick up ng rider or yung address po din. Number three po is just have to click lang po yung no. Option to proceed or generate order link. Then next po is ito po yung review. At kung yung um, pwede po kayong the good with order link po natin and dun po sa uh, delivery po natin, um, pwede po kayong magpasa ng shipping fee and valuation fees to your customers or pwede nyo rin po siyang luhin. Depends po sa promotion po ninyo na gagawin. At the same time, pwede rin po kayong mag-offer ng cash on delivery dito. Then for the number five, ito po siya, yung order link po natin. So once na na-upload yun na po lahat, okay, na-prepare nyo po, yung system po ni Gogo Express is magbibigay po siya sa inyo ng order link, which is ito po yung nakikita nyo sa babang kanan. Pwede nyo po siyang kopyahin at i-share po sa social media po natin. So such as yung Facebook, WhatsApp, email, or Viber or Twitter po. Ito po yung way or yung mga paraan po paano po nila ginamit si um, order link po ni Gogo Express. Yung iba ginagamit nila sa messenger or yung mga nagda-direct message po sa kanila ng how much yung produkto kasi nakita siya through advertisement. Or yung iba naman po is when they message through Viber. At yung iba naman po ay tama po nila sa kanilang Facebook wall post. So such as yung nakikita niyo po dito, itong buy one take one promo. Now we're in kung gusto niyang umorder or yung customer gusto niyang umorder, i-click niya lang po itong link na ito. At diretso na na po siyang pwedeng bilhin. So, sino yung sino pwedeng gumamit ng Gogo Express? Actually, everyone can use Gogo Express po, mabalaan man o mapababae. Even students po, pwede pong gamitin ng Gogo Express as long as guided po silang kanilang mga guardians. Okay, so for those who's, uh, sellers po na nagbebenta online, Facebook, Instagram, okay, pwede nyo pong gamitin si Gogo Express, especially if requirement nyo po talaga is cash on delivery and pick up and delivery po. Okay? So again, to summarize everything lang po for GGX, you just have to download the app lang po, register for free, provide lang po yung inyong mobile number and email address, and yung pangalan, at may account na po kayo kay GGX. Book a transaction via order form po, or, or order link, then you're done po. Okay, so kung may mga katanungan po kayo, uh, usap po tayo. So you can reach me out with sa mobile number at email address na nakikita niyo po sa inyong screen. Carlo, I'm good. All right, fantastic. We have quite a bit of time for Q&A. Let's see what's here. Right. Let's see. Loading. Uh, says here, can you do scheduled pickup in GoGo -Go Express? Example for food or perishable products. Okay, good question po. At the moment, wala po tayong scheduled pickup pa. Pero what happened po ngayon kay uh, GoGo Express, meron po tayong same-day delivery. Pwede po natin siyang iset up na ganun. So, mangyari po is lahat po ng nabuk transaction before po mag 2 p.m., pipick up in po namin yan at deliver po siya within 3 hours po sa customer po ninyo. But then again, to manage your expectation po, since na meron po tayong COVID pandemic ngayon, uh, we can't assure din po yung mismong delivery timeline po natin since marami po tayong check up, uh, mga checkpoints po. I see. Speaking of shipping, uh, do you ship from the NCR to anywhere in the Philippines for items 12 kilograms or higher? Okay. So for GoGo -Go Express po, actually selected key cities po tayo and key provinces po talaga tayo kay GoGo -Go Express. But give us time lang po uh, makakapag-ship um, din po tayo nationwide. What we can do po, ang advice ko po sa mga interesado po malaman yung mga serviceable areas po natin, tsaka yung not serviceable, uh, pumunta lang po sila sa gogoexpress.com at sa FAQs natin for serviceable areas. 
for the weight naman po, so for uh, mag-release po tayo ng bagong uh, pouch sizes. Ngayon po kasi yung may kita nyo sa website namin is limited lang po up to 3 kilo. But this coming May, uh, first week or second week, re-release na po tayo ng mga bagong pouches and rates po. Alright. Pwede pa ba mag-deliver sa GoGo Express ng dog food, which is about 20 kilos per sack? Okay. For the meantime po, again, yung limitations po natin is maximum of 3 kilo. Um, 3 kilo. Pero once na-release po natin yung um, bago pong rates ni GoGo Express, pwede po siya. Pero ang masasuggest ko po sa inyo, sir, baka pwede po natin siyang hatiin into 3 kilos. Or if you want po, pwede po tayong i-proceed yung transaction na yan via expose naman para makita po yung mas malaki po natin produkto. Question from Wilson Season. Can we link GoGo Express to our existing website? Okay, good question po. Uh, we're working on po sa plugins po, kay GoGo Express and uh, API then. Um, for the meantime, um, the way you use po si GoGo Express na po talaga is manual pa lang, which is yung nakita niyo po sa pre-resend ko. So via book order, okay, then second one po is yung send link po natin. All right. A uh, question from Jim of SM. Uh, does GoGo Express look after greening its logistics, such as using electric vehicles or renewable clean gas vehicles? Uh, is the packaging material planet friendly? Okay. Um, so for pre, masasagot ko po sa packaging for... Yes, yes, it's biodegradable naman po. Then... For the motorcycles, yes, as long as much as possible po, pwede po kaming siguro may pag-partnership kung may maribibigay sa amin or may marirefer po na gantong kumpanya at pwede po namin i-off sa mga riders po namin. All right, That's good to hear. Here's for a clean earth. Question from Paula Agripa. Can we use GoGo Express even if we're not sellers and just need to send something for our family? Yes, question po yan. Especially po um, ngayong COVID uh, pandemic po natin, kung may gusto po ipadala lang sa magulang ninyo at medyo malayo po yung bahay, pwede nyo pong gamitin si GoGo Express. So mga lovers din po, boyfriends, girlfriends, wala pong excuse po yun. Pwede nyo pong gamitin si GoGo Express sa pagpadala po ng mga inyong mga love items. All right, That's good to hear. A uh, question from Marianne Tesalona about GoGo Express. Is the 120 peso delivery charge a minimum amount for any place in Metro Manila or is it the actual rate whenever in Manila? Um, yes, it's fixed flat rate po for NCR to NCR transaction. All right. Um, from Marina Morada Chu, does GoGo Express do same day pickup and delivery during ECQ? Okay. Um, to be honest with you po, no, um, gawa up ng ang kakulangan ng riders po namin. Meron po tayong areas na hindi rin po nasa-servicean kaagad. Um, yes, pero we offer po same-day delivery, uh, same-day pickup and delivery po, KGGX, yes. All right. And I think that's the last of the questions for now. So thank you very much, Jet. Thank you, Carlo. All right. So before we, uh, before we finish, uh, first a few words from our DTI Liaison Assistant Secretary, Jean Pacheco. Hi, Jean. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jet, um, uh, and to all our speakers. JP, thank you. Um, thank you also, Pet, Lazada, QuadX, um, uh, to all our speakers today and um, since this morning, um, alam niyo po, uh, gusto ko kong sabihin sa inyo na today, araw po ng uh, paggawa, Labor Day, uh, we really, ano ho, no, we said in, every, in the beginning and every time that we'll appear to you now, we'll, we always say po na kami po sa DTI, gusto ko namin mabigyan kayo ng tamang informasyon. So ngayon po ay holiday, technically holiday po talaga naman. Pero lahat po ng ating mga platforms no na sa po talagang ito po yung pwede nating uh, mga options kung paano tayo makapag-start ng business. Ay nandito ho sila ngayong araw na to. Hindi lang ho, kulang pa lang ho kasi nga ho buong araw lang at 30 minutes. 
Pero nagmula ho tayo kay Google hanggang huminto nga po tayo ngayon dito sa Quad sa Quad S Gogo Express. Um I think napakita po natin yung mga options na pwede ho ninyong pagpilian depende po sa inyong negosyo kung paano ninyo po gustong pagalawin. Um I am very happy po no um if there is something I have listened to the through all of the presentations siguro ho matutuwa kayo dahil marami po akong narinig ng mga libre 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 wala pong bayad wala pong bayad kasi ho sa katotohanan po niyan yun po yung mga information na gusto din namin para din yan on the other hand nakikita din ho natin at very open yung mga platforms na sinasabi oh ito merong ganitong commission fee ito po yung mga rates nila. Again, uh, I am very happy that because of Control, uh, Control Plus Bids Reboot now, all of this information are being given to you all. Um, al alam niyo ho, inspired po ako dahil sa aking pinsan na si Mary Rose. Uh, gustong gusto po niyang magnegosyo at gustong gusto po niyang mag-online, panay din po ang tanong niya. So ang sabi ko sa kanya, man, uh, kailangan ng ganitong session para sa po malalaman ho niya ang lahat ng mga options that available sa mga ho, mga gusto talagang mag-online. So ano lang po, today po, I hope um, there were too many information maybe, um, granting from the number of questions, uh, marami po kayong engaged. For those of you that have not um, uh, not been able to grasp, dahil medyo mabilis po, huwag niyo ho, please don't forget to just go and visit the our Facebook page. Ito po yung DTI e-commerce. No? At uh, sana ho i-like ninyo para dumami din po kami ng mga likes dun po sa aming bagong Facebook page kung saan ilalagay ho natin lahat ng mga content na nakokolekta na, na, na ho natin dito at napakadami po. Um, we also would like to assure everybody that those of you whose questions were not answered, we have asked the, the resource person na sagutin po nila. Tapos so ipo-post po natin 'yan sa ano sa digi, sa sa FB page po natin ng e-commerce. At sa mga nag-register po, pasensya na ho kung hindi ho kayo na-accommodate sa Zoom, kaya meron po tayong Facebook Live, but we will as much as we can. Lahat po nung nag-register, bibigyan po namin ko 'yung mga kasagutan at saka 'yung mga materials. Pero mas mabilis po nag natingnan ho na lang natin 'yung ating F, um, FB page of DTI e-commerce. So Um, at this point in time, it's a, it has indeed been a long day but a very, very fruitful one. Sa lahat ho ng mga manggagawang Pilipino, kami po sa DTI ay talagang nagpapasalamat. Uh, Lalo na ho si, sa lahat ng mga nandito po sa e-commerce, uh, sa logistics, um, lahat po kami ay uh, tauspusong nagbibigay po, gay po sa inyong lahat. Um, thank you very much and that uh, tomorrow is the last day. Uh, I cannot uh, thank uh, everyone enough for all the speakers and all of you, um, all of you who are watching in Facebook from uh, all over the country. Maraming maraming salamat po. Um, see you all tomorrow po uh, for our last day. And then, uh, dahil ho sa dami ng mga, mga nanood at nag naghihingi pa ng ganitong klaseng informasyon, uh, meron po kaming part two nagagawin po natin control beast reboot now. Uh, aayusin po namin 'yan para lalo pong ma-engage kayo at uh, mapag-isipan niyo na po kung paano talaga tayo na mag-online. So maraming maraming pong salamat mula po sa DTI e-commerce office. Maraming maraming pong salamat um, to Thames and also to Wonderman Thompson our agency partner and of course to PTTC and our rest of the partners, our enabling partners. So thank you and I give back the floor to you Carlo. Thank you very much Asik Jin. At marami pong salamat sa ating mga speakers. Sa ating pagtatapos, gusto po rin nating pasalamatan lahat ng mga partners sa proyekto ng Thames International. Uh, Thames International Business School at Philippine Trade Training Center bilang learning partners. Wonderman Thompson bilang agency partner. And of course, our enabling partners. I'll mention them in alphabetical order. Food Panda. Gcash, Google, Grab Express and Grab Food, Lala Move, Lazada, Lead More, PayMaya, Quad X PayLink and Quad X GoGo Express, Shopee, Singapore Institute of Materials Management, Union Bank and Zalora. Salamat sa lahat ng mga viewers para sa session nito. Sana ay nakutulong po sa inyong negosyo ang ating session. Gusto po namin kayong imbitahin sa mga susunod na na webinars hanggang uh, hanggang bukas
Pakisagot po ang ating online survey form when you leave this webinar. We'll use this to further improve our services moving forward. Please do attend our succeeding webinars as well. We will flash on the screen the schedule for the remaining webinars this week. Again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Please visit our official Facebook page, DTI eCommerce, or send an email to DTI eCommerce office at echo at dti.gov.ph. Happy rebooting, stay, sa stay safe, and God bless us all. Palam. Habang nakatigil ang mundo, habang ligtas tayo sa ating mga tahanan, may mga pumiling manatili sa harap ng tigmaan. Laban sa COVID-19 Para sa inyong patuloy na nagpapatakbo sa makina ng bansa. Para sa inyong laging nakaabang sa ating mga daungan at paliparan. Para sa inyong nagtatawid ang aming mga pangangailangan sa kalsada, karagatan, at timpapawid. Para sa inyong mga nagbabantay sa mga warehouse at terminal. Para sa inyong mga naikipagsapagangan sa daan. Para sa inyong naghahatid sa amin ng malasakit at kabayanihan. Kayong mga frontliners sa logistics at supply chain, kakipat kayo ng mga tukto, nars, sundalo at pulis. Patid namin ang mga sacrificial nyo at pagtitiis. Kasama ang buong sambayanan, kaming lahat ay nagbibigay tulad at usuk-usuk papasalatan sa pagharap ninyo sa tiyak na pahamang para sa bayan. Mabuhay kayo, mga bayani ng bayan. Inspirasyon mo pagkapi ko Katuwang ng gobyerno sa iyong tagumpay Iisa ang ating hangarin Huwag may abilidad at oportunidad Tiyak na ang lahat ay uunlad Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Kaibigan, trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Sulok, Pilipinas Go, 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 kababayan Kaya natin yan Kaya natin yan Kaya natin yan Kaya natin yan 
sa iyong mga pangarap Sige, sige sa pagsisikap Asenso ay sigurado sa hinaharap Magdalig lang palagi sa sarili Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Wala ni wala Kulang ng go mga kaibigan Trabaho, negosyo, kabuhayan Kaya natin yan Sula ko ang kaibigan Go, 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 kababayan Bakpan, bakpan, bakpan Kaya natin yan 